Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, Clint. How are you? So today I'm just, uh, I'm not in the mood to do any kind of real crafting right now, guys. So you're going to have to bear with me. I've been sitting here just doing cross-stitching and that's all I'm really doing. I'm actually doing a really big cross-stitch of Tia. It's uh, going to be 12 by 12 when it's done. So it's 200 by 200 stitches. So you times that, you're looking at about 40,000 stitches. It's a lot of stitching. So I'm going to do other little projects in between. Olivia and I are going to be doing uh, Farmhouse Christmas um, oh, together. God help us. <laughs> what? God help us. God help she me. said, God help her. <laughs> you guys, you need to see what she's done so far with her damn cross stitching. This woman just mm -hmm. took off when I showed her how to stitch in hand. She, her very first cross stitch that she made, it was. Uh, made in a hoop and I said no 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 hoops we're not using hoops <laughs> we're gonna stitch in hand and that's exactly how it sounds we're stitching in hand so she just took off with this technique and I'm telling you, she's loving it and she's whipping up this cross stitch so quickly and especially for a beginner uh, stitching in hand is probably your very best route to take when cross stitching I love it. Oh, yeah. She absolutely loves it. So today's project, we're working on October. I've got everything here that I need. So I'm just taking it out of my bag. All right. So this is the cross stitch. And believe me, guys, this pattern looks really big. But in reality, it's about three and something inches by four. It's super tiny. And it's going to get stitched up pretty quick. So in this pattern, it gives you, let me grab some glasses here so I can see. In this pattern here, it gives you, um, we don't need that. My ear, my headphones are falling out of my head, my ear. It gives you all the floss that you need, and it's DMC floss that me and Olivia are using. So I'm going to pull everything out of the bag. This is how I have arranged all my stuff because I just want to stay organized with all my cross-stitching that I'm going to be doing. So that is that. So this is the pattern here. So when you print the pattern off, it will give you what you need in DMC colors. So those are all the colors. And my husband was very nice to go to Michael's and pick up all my flosses for me. So these are all the required flosses for this particular pattern. It's a super small pattern, so it's gonna get stitched up super quickly. And aren't these flosses really pretty? So, um, here is my floss, or my eight of cloth, which I cut six by six. So actually the pattern is going to go in here somewhere, and you're going to start somewhere, you know, it's going to be kind of in here. There's, you know, lots of extra room on each side. So I just wanted it, I just didn't want to waste a whole heck of a lot of uh, eight of cloth. So this is 14 count. So you can see it's nice and big. I use size 24 uh, tapestry noodle, ne noodles, needles. Noodle. <laughs> I use, yeah, I use them because the hole here is perfect for uh, putting your floss in it. So, and I don't like fighting with floss in my uh, needle. I hate it. Um, I've got my little tiny embroidery scissors that Jeff bought me. These are super cute. I got them from Michael's with 30% off. So that was nice. Now, we have 10, 10 things of, um, oh, I forgot to grab a binder ring. In that container. And you know how I've got the stackables, Jeff? It's inside of that pink container. 
It's the middle one that has the binder rings in it. Good morning, Debbie. Yep. Debbie's with us, Ruby. Hi, Debbie. Good morning. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I bought these floss biddies. These are called floss biddies. You get a pack of 20 from Fat Quarter Shop, and they're super cute. They've got, like, uh, I've got Christmas ones. You can get the Halloween ones. This has got this, the little embroidery scissors, and it's got a thimble pattern, and that's it, and a needle. So there's a needle, a thimble, embroidery floss, and uh, what else? Scissors. Yeah. So it comes with four cute little patterns on them. So I am going to put my floss on all of these, and I'm going to show you how I do this. Um, yeah, I forgot my tape, too, my scotch tape. I'll get Jeff to get it for me. Now, I use a needle minder, and I got my needle minder. This thing is super awesome. I, <coughs> I just keep it on here. But what I like about it is when I'm taking, see? The needle just catches right on the needle minder. I just need one and my roll of tape here. I only need one. I forgot to grab one of my binder clips that Jeff picked up for me at Michael's. Watch, that's got a staple sticking out pretty sharp. Okay, so this is going to house my, my floss. This is going to hold my floss and keep it all in order for me. Um, so anyway, let's get our floss onto our, our floss now, normally I would cut these two, um, but I want to show you guys how to do the loop method because I don't want to teach you guys right now how to hide your ends and how to start this when there's absolutely nothing on your uh, 8 o'clock to even hide anything in. I don't feel like getting into that and showing you that. Debbie loves your nails. Oh, thank you. My daughter did them. She just learning how to do gel nails. So she did mine. <laughs> Not the greatest, but hey, it's only her second time doing nails. She put little fall leaves on them. I don't know Make if you can like see them. Cool. Yeah, and this nail polish changes color. So you can see the tip of it of my finger. Where am I? Is turning brown. In the cold water, these when I'm cold, they turn brown. Okay, so let me show you how to do embroidery floss without having a huge, humongous mess. So the part here, with the before you take this off, don't take this end off. Take the the uh, part with the number off, and see this thread here. Pull that down just so you know where that is. And then you're going to cut this piece off. You don't even have to buy any stickers, nothing. You're just going to trim this off. And we're going to use this, this for our DMC floss holder. So what I do is I take a piece of tape. Like so. I just put, put it on a piece of tape. And stick it on the back of the... Um, floss holder. So there is floss number 434. Okay. Now open this up very carefully. Open it up. Remember your end. This one here. Don't lose that end because you're going to have a big mess if you do. If you do. Okay. So you're going to open this up. And I could see one strand here. That's not quite opened. So it's open now. Now I could pull this off. So I'm going to just put this on my wrist and I'm going to start unwinding this. I'm going to unwind the whole thing. I got a little doggy on my lap. So I'm just very carefully unwinding it. And once in a while, you got to unwind it like this with your wrist. But most of the part, it comes off. Okay. There we go. So there's one end. And where is, and there's my other end. So now I'm going to put these two ends together. And now I'm just going to 
fold this in half. I'm just going to follow. We are having a major storm here. You probably can hear the thunder. Can you hear it? No, it's pretty quiet at the moment. Oh. Okay. All right. And I'm going to fold it again. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to, normally I would fold it again and snip. But what I'm going to do is I'm just snipping this. Where's my scissors? So we're going to snip there, snip there. I'm going to pull one strand off, one, one strand because I need it to stitch with. And this is how I stay organized. So it is, it's a long piece of thread. Don't get your shit tied in a knot. So now what I'm gonna do is bring all these ends together like so, okay? Now we have this. We have a nice short, and I've got the raw edges here. Where's my thing? You're going to put it in here. And you're going to put it through your loop here. Like so. So there, there is my floss on here. Now we're going to take this piece, because this is the one I'm going to need, and we're going to put it on the floss holder all by itself so I don't have to pull all the floss off just to start with you know like I, I'll have one already ready to go here so so I'm only I'm going to fold it in half then I'm going to fold it again and then I'm going to bring the two pieces together and then this part here is going to go on to my floss here holder these are called floss biddies. And then I'm just going to leave it set on here all by itself. So when I'm ready to use this color, I have it already a piece off ready to go. So, and I'm going to teach you guys when I feel like crafting and going in my craft room, I want to teach you guys how to make your own floss holders where you do not have to buy these. They're not cheap. These are $9 for 20. And you know, some patterns like Tia's, Tia's pattern took 50, uh, 50 skeins of floss. And uh, that means I needed 50 of these. So I had to buy a whole bunch of packages. So anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to take the number side up. Where's my loop? And you're going to start placing it on your binder ring. So you just have to get, you don't really need a big one like this for a small project, but Anyway, there's my 434 ready to go. So let's do another one. So we're going to pull this off. The number part, we're going to look for our beginning right here. Drop that down. And you're going to open this up very, very, very carefully without causing a big mess. You can tell when you have them all open. See that's opened. So do we have everything all open? We do. Yep, it's all opened. Where's my piece? Where's the one I was holding? You let go. Yeah. This here got switched around somehow. Where is my piece? Right there. There you are. Why are these, why is it like that? This is the way they, some of these will be screwed up and that's just the way they, they wound these. Yeah. I think this is the inside or is it the outside? Okay, here we go. We got her. So I'm just gonna pull this all off. Oh, shoot. Where's my number? Right there. Don't lose it. Make sure you hold on to this end here. You don't want to lose this. 
in that contraption of mess. But I just kind of lay it all down here. Lay some over there just so I don't tangle it. Lay some here. Lay some here. Hi, Martha. Martha's with us. Hey, Martha. Lay some here. All right. So. You're going to put these together. And then you're going to wind it up. Remember, only if you want smaller pieces, you can do it smaller, but you're going to end up with tails. Okay, so I'm just going to bring these two ends together like this. And that's it. That's how long mine's going to be. It's about 36 inches long because I want to use, uh, fold my thread over, it'll be doubled. So I won't really have all, I will have, well, that's a pretty big piece, but who cares? I don't care. This is the way I like it. So I'm just pulling out one strand and the rest are going to go onto my floss bitty. Like so. Like so. In there. I forgot to send Martha the link. Oopsie. Yeah. And I don't think you can. I have to no, do it. Geez. I got to <laughs> send one to Jeff anyway. I forgot about poor Jeffy. Oh, no. Poor yeah. Jeff. <laughs> poor Jeff. Okay. So this is my loose one. Martha, hang on a second. I'm... I got my shit tied in a knot here. <laughs> she's, she's literally tied in a knot with everything around her. Yes, I do have myself tied in a knot here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're good with that. Now you're just going to run this piece through. Wow. That thunder is so loud. It is so dark in my house. I'm not even kidding you guys. Debbie, have you got the bad weather as well? She's too far away. Ah, okay. Yeah. Although she could be experiencing bad weather too. It's supposed to be all weekend, isn't it? Okay, so there's that. Now where's my little thing? Where are you? Where'd it go? My number. I didn't see it. I see it. It's right here. Yay. So you're just going to clip it off. You don't even have to buy stickers. I like this method better because this is the true color. Yes. Because I took it right off of the floss. So I put a piece of tape here like so. Then I'm going to grab my ring here. I'm going to open up my ring. And this number is higher than that number. So, of course, it's going to go in behind. So, I'm going to kind of file them all in order. So, look at how nice they stay. Also, you can group them together, twist them like this. Just keep twisting and twirling and twirling and twirling and twirling and twirling. And then you just put them in behind and all your floss will stay nicely like this as well. And it does not tangle up. Debbie so, says we had it through the night, but it's just gloomy now and very muggy. Okay, so let me get my husband and Martha here. I forgot about Jeff, too. Poor oh, Jeff. Poor Jeff. We've said that. Poor Jeff. <laughs> I forgot about my husband. Oh, no. After he went and bought you all, have you gotten the new Hey, listen, you yet? would forget about Grumpy, too. I wouldn't because he never, ever wants to go live. Oh, well, for that <laughs> purpose, yes. <laughs> he would be happy if I forgot him in that situation. Yeah. All right. Both of them have been sent. Okay. okay. Close. All right. So I want to show you Tia's for an example. This is Tia's bag that I'm working on. These are all her 
these are all her flosses. There's 50 of them. I had to use two binder rings. So there's a lot of floss in here. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So there's about 25 on here. And this is how I done all of hers. Lots of browns. Lots of colors in here. So it's, you know, it's a big pattern. It's beautiful. I could show you her picture um, that I chose to do. That's the pattern. Where's her picture? Where's your picture, Tia? Okay, it's got to be amongst all this mess. That's <sighs> not that one. Here it is. This is her picture I'm doing, guys. I put it up on the web to turn it into a cross stitch. This is my favorite picture of her. Hi, Linda. Linda's with us, Ruby. So that's the cross stitch I'm doing of Tia, and it is very big. It's 12 by 12, the whole entire thing. And I've started working on it. I've got this much of it done. This is how much I've been working on Tia's picture. I've got quite a bit done. And this is on 14 count Ada. So right now I'm starting on a new color of blue, but you can't tell because they're both very dark colored blue. Sorry, Linda, my fault. I've been having private embroidery lessons. So yeah. That is, oh, that is my baby girl's loss. Oh, I need to get comfortable and have a drink of my coffee. We're having turkey today, Linda, my daughter, cooking it. And I just taught her this morning how to make dressing. So it's her first time cooking a turkey and her first time making stuffing. And I was on video chat with her and showed her exactly what to do. So she's super excited. And I'm super excited because I didn't have to cook it this year. She did. Your children are super talented. Like yeah. Mom. Okay. So let's carry on with our... Um, if you see what I'm doing over here, I have a little garbage bag. I'm not throwing my stuff on the floor. <laughs> So again, just cut these. I was going to say it might be better to do that first before you lose it. Yes, that's you're right, Mark. See, you're right, ma'am. Livia. <laughs> I was. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. It's fine. Okay. I know don't, you're Olivia. <laughs> just don't forget to call me for dinner. Okay, I won't call you late for dinner. So, okay. see, this usually opens up pretty good. So, there we go. Hold on to your end and start whacking this all over the place. I put it on top of Tiana because she's right here beside me. <laughs> and just drop it in places on my towel here. I'm just trying to stay comfortable on my couch. I don't even feel like going in my craft room. I did this morning just to, I'll show you, because I had to cut my eight o'clock and I had to do a zigzag all the way around. So I zigzagged it. That's why I was in my craft room for that purpose only. I haven't looked or touched anything in there. So. It'll get better and easier with time. I know. She used to be in there with you a lot. Yes, she used to always come in there. She even found her way in there all the time being blind and. So um, maybe I can talk about what happened to her. As you all know, when I was live on my live streams, then the most recent ones, you could hear her coughing in the background in my video. So we just kept taking her to the vet and the vet just kept giving her um, medications so first she went the first time she went when she developed that it was like a a sneezing cough. It was weird. She was sneezing and coughing at the same time. So 
We took her to the vet. The vet gave us antibiotics and um, a, a mild, mild dose of a steroid. Well, a week later, um, that, that just was not helping. It wasn't going away. So back to the vet, she went. And the, the vet gave her a stronger steroid, which was called, what was that called? I don't even remember now. It was a very strong steroid where she had to be literally weaned off of it. So we did that. And the vet said, only give her half a tablet every, every day for three days and then start weaning her off. And I thought, okay. So we put her on the str strong prednisone. Yes, prednisone. We put her on the strong steroid. Uh, days later, I, I phoned the vet and I said, this is not working. She's still coughing. She's still having really bad coughing of attacks. Um, then we were sitting here one evening and I thought, okay, she's not doing too bad. She became kind of lethargic where she just, um, she just had no life. She was just dropping on the floor. So I, I called the emergency vet. It was 930 at night. And it just happened to be the vet on call was her vet. I was so, so blessed. So what the vet did was prescribed her a cough syrup um, and told her that, told me that, oh, well, I think the cough syrup will, should help. Well, it, it helped for one day. Yeah, was, it was, it was a Saturday. Me. We thought for sure she was getting better. We were like so excited. Uh, come Monday, she nonstop hacked and hacked and hacked. Started coughing nonstop again. I was like, what in God's name is going on? I called the vet again. They were probably so sick of me calling, but I mean, I called again. And then Thursday, the vet said, well, if she's give it, she upped the doses of everything. She said, give it till Thursday. If uh, nothing's better by Thursday, we're going to have to bring her in and do a chest x-ray. Or an x-ray to find out what's going on with her. So she um, did not get better. We took her in on the Thursday for the chest x-ray. And the vet called me. But they had to do kind of like an emergency x-ray because I did not have an appointment. She just told me to call Thursday morning if she was not better. And they will try to squeeze her in. So we called the vet and said, nope, she's not getting better. We're going to have to do the x-ray. So the vet did the x-ray. I think she called us at like 2 o'clock. We dropped her off early in the morning. They called us about 2 o'clock the afternoon. And she said um, her heart was good. Um, what else was good? But she said the x-ray showed, uh, what are they called? Nodules. They found nodules in her lungs, which is cancer. And by that, it was Thursday. I, I asked the vet, she said, are you considering euthanizing today? And I'm like, no. Can we just bring her home for one more day? So, of course, we brought her home. We didn't ask to bring her home for one more day. The vet said she should be okay to take home. Uh, she said just... Uh, I'm going to up her, increase her medicine. She goes, I don't want to sedate her because then she's got no um, life. What do you call that? Quality of life. Yeah. So they didn't want to take her quality of life away. Well, we were thinking, you know, well, the lung cancer, she said, once it starts spreading, because it was not progressing yet. She said, once it starts spreading, um, it's going to spread quickly. So we just like, oh, my God. So we brought her home the next day. Jeff went to work and I phoned him and I said, Jeff, Tia's just not doing well. She's not eating. She's not doing anything. She's just lying on the floor. And he came home. 
What? She was panting a lot as well. Yes, she was panting. She, she was drinking. drinking. She just did not want to eat nothing. And then uh, Jeff came home from work and he's like, you better call the vet. We're going to have to bring her in because she was, she was very lethargic. Her tongue was turning purple. So she was kind of basically trying to breathe and we just couldn't make her suffer anymore. So I, I, we had to, we had to do it. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I didn't. <laughs> But a part of me was just, you know, being very selfish. I can't let my dog suffer. She was just not well. So we took her in Friday. Jeff took her in at 3 o'clock. And the cremation place picked her up. And we haven't got her back yet. So I'm still waiting for that. Nan's with us. She says good morning, Ruby. Hi, Nan. So, yeah, it was. it's been a rough... Yeah. It was very quick. She developed that cough. We were sitting out in the gazebo. It was a Saturday, three, four weeks ago yesterday. So a month ago yesterday. We were sitting out in the gazebo and it was Saturday afternoon. And just all of a sudden she started with this, like she was trying to breathe, coughing. And then she was sneezing. And I was like, oh no, don't tell me she's getting another. Her bronchitis is back again. So that's what the doctor was treating her for because she has she has bronchitis. And that's what the doctor thought, you know, well, we'll just treat her bronchitis. And because she was a diabetic dog, they were pretty scary giving her all kinds of different medications because especially the steroid because it messes with the uh, insulin numbers. So they still ended up giving her the steroid because that's what she got last time and it cleared up her bronchitis. But uh, the vet said it's... She saw the bronchitis in her x-ray, but she said there's also nodules, which are little tumors. So, but she also said she could treat it, but it's no quality of life for it. And she yeah. recommended, but it was yes. entirely up to you. Yeah. She gave us an option, you know, she's, she said Tia's in no pain, you could take her home, but she said, but we didn't see that her in pain, but when she was trying to, sitting at her dog dish, at her water dish, with her head up onto her water dish, trying to open her airwaves to breathe, I was just like, I was so heartbroken, uh, I mean, Jeff was heartbroken, he was devastated, we were both very devastated. We still are. We're still having a really hard time dealing with her not being here because I had a routine. Every single morning I got up, I fed her. At 8.30, I would start with her food. I would give her her insulin, take her outside for her bathroom chores and bring her in and give her her brush her teeth. And she would go lay down in one of her beds, whatever bed she felt like laying in at that time. And she would just be there all day so that's what's really hard is getting past that Linda says my heart is breaking for you Ruby we had to do that with our babe hardest thing we ever had to do we both were broken for a long time after that yeah yeah Jeff 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 was pretty pretty shooken up over this he didn't want Tia to go <laughs> but he, he he saw her suffering he's like her tongue is purple he said, we can't do this to her. I said, yeah, get her to the vet right away. So I said my goodbyes to her. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I cried so hard. I can't even tell you how hard I cried. When the pet, the cremation place called me, I asked the guy to forgive me because I couldn't even talk. Uh, I was, I yeah, was crying because he called me, like, right after Jeff left. So I was just like. Totally, totally devastated. It, it's very devastating for anyone to ever lose a pet. Yep. And I don't know. I don't know. If, I'm not going to say Tia was my favorite dog and I favored her more. That's not it at all. The thing is, is we had to spend more time with Tia because of her health issues. You know, she had, she had health issues. She had diabetes. She needed extra care for that. She... She got sick with bronchitis. We had to give her extra care for that. 
you know, she was always going to the vet, but she was your baby. It's what you she, do. Yep. And she just needed a little more caring than your normal average dog needs on a daily basis. She had to have extra care and get fed properly, get treats properly, get, get her insulin all the time. Uh, it was, it's rough. And we still love Tiana very, very much. Oh, yeah. Tiana. I think the worst part is what Tiana's doing now on the nighttime when she didn't used to. Yeah. We, uh, Tiana slept with me every single night, but right now, actually last night she's, she did good. I got up at three o'clock because my granddaughter is, is sick in the hospital right now. And uh, I got up with her because I couldn't sleep for what happened yesterday. Anyway, um, and I really don't know if my daughter wants to say anything, but anyway, I, me to say anything. So I'm not, I'm just going to tell not you that yet. my, my little girl, Raina is in the hospital on the pediatric floor with a pediatrician and an ear, nose and throat specialist. And um, I woke up at 2.30 last night and Tia, Tiana was sleeping with me in my bed, wow. but I got up, I went outside for a smoke. She came outside, she had a pee. And she came back in and she ran straight into Tia's bed. She did not go back to bed with me. I tried to call her back in, tried to convince her to come back in my room. Nope, she wasn't having it. She stayed back in there too. So it's... Uh, Linda says, my brother's ashes is also on the piano with her. Oh, Wow. And Debbie says, send in prayers your way, or her way, yeah. sorry, and to you. Yeah. It's been a very sad couple of weeks. Yep. It's been, it's just a week now Tia's been gone, and we haven't got her ashes back yet, and I'm getting kind of freaked out here, because he said, oh, I'll be in touch in a week. We haven't heard from him. Maybe so tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, I'm expecting them probably tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, no, not tomorrow because it's Canadian Thanksgiving, oh. so nothing's open tomorrow. Tuesday. Yep, Tuesday. Yeah, because Jeff doesn't work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so happy Thanksgiving, Debbie. Since I know you're Canadian, you're having Thanksgiving tomorrow too. But we're having yummy turkey dinner today, and I'm super excited. I bet you Jeff is just frothing at the mouth. For at the big there, juicy turkey. <laughs> <laughs> he said maybe. <laughs> mm, just maybe. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the prayers, guys. Really, everyone. Always in forever. Yeah. Oh, that might be a nice thing to put on. On the bottom. You know how you're going to put a name on top? Anyway. So this is how we're going to just see how nice it keeps your floss nice and straight. Now, what me and Olivia discovered, which <laughs> I don't like, is when you take your floss and put them on those little floss things. So say you take your, you know, those little cardboard or plastic ones oh, that you nice. get from DMC and you wind your floss, which you can do very well do that. Every time you take it off, those little cardboard things, there's kinks everywhere. And believe me, it sure I hate up. those kinks. And those kinks tend to cause a lot of knots in, um, in your cross-stitching. If your thread is nice and straight like this, you shouldn't have a whole lot of knots. So... Oh, that was my finger. I found my finger. <laughs> there. Oh, Debbie's got a goal this uh, this one. year. It's done. Ruby so says this is my number goal. three, two, one. So it's going to go right in the front there. Ruby. Like 
So these are all really, really pretty fall colors. Are these not gorgeous fall colors? Oh, whoops, I can't hear nothing because I have no headphones on. You dropped them again, didn't you? They're falling out of my ears because <laughs> they're so big. thought you were ignoring me. Uh, Debbie I'm... says, Ruby, my goal this coming summer is to meet you and Jeff. Yes. Oh, good. I would love that. Come over and we'll have our own little retreat. Yeah. We'll have yeah, a yeah. very own... Yeah, Olivia's coming, but look at these beautiful fall colors, guys. Seriously. How can you get more fall than this? This is gorgeous. So I have to wind up five more. Bummer. I only done five. Wow. It's because it's because I'm too busy talking. No, you can get it off your chest. Sharon is caring. Yes. Linda. I'm going to tell you a little secret. Uh -oh. You can still cross stitch. You know why? Because you can buy eight of cloth. Whoops. I keep hitting my camera. You can buy eight of cloth size nine, size nine count. Nine count is nine stitches per inch. So you take nine stitches and that makes a whole inch. This is 14 stitches per inch. They have nine count Ada. It is big. So you can still cross stitch, believe me. You'll be able to see those holes from across the street. <laughs> They're so big. <laughs> I'm just saying. So don't give me this shit you can't cross stitch because your eyes are bad. You yeah, could do I tried it. That. <laughs> I tried that, didn't work. Yeah, Olivia tried that, but yeah, that just didn't pan out too well. Mm. All right, so make sure you pull the thread from the top. And open this all up. Like I suppose so. the bigger hole of the nine count would be good for yarn or wool and for children. Yeah, you could use wool. Yeah. Yeah, you sure can. All right, so we're opened up. Sometimes you have to go out of that one. But yeah, I can't be bothered to cross stitch on linen anymore because the holes are just too small. That's a two over two, two, two holes over two, and, and it's just uh, way, way, way too hard. Uh, Linda loves the 18 and 22. I think it's the nicest look, but that's just her. Um, yes, I agree with you because it is much smaller holes. So that's 18 stitches and 22 stitches per inch. So of course, yes, the smaller the stitches, the smaller your, your cross stitch will be as well. So that's why I like the 14 count because the 14 count will make it a little bit bigger than, um, 28 count. 32 count, which I'm used to doing. I could still cross stitch with that. I'm I'm not overly bothered by it, but I just can't stand how tiny it is. Yeah, it's two over two stitches for sure. Yeah, so anyway, that's just my opinion. We always should stitch on what we're comfortable because cross stitching is supposed to be fun. You're supposed to sit down, relax, and enjoy it. You can't if you're just frustrated. What fun is that? So, or what? Jeff said throwing it across the room could be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Did you just room. hear that? Yes. <laughs> Throwing it across the room could be fun, eh, Jeff? Yeah, but even what about Jeff's if I tried throw it at you? <laughs> yes, Jeff tried cross stitching. He did a J for me because I was going to get him to help me with all these cross stitches. Hey, I already nope the numbers there. With all these cross stitching kits I have, I was going to get him to help me, but I figured no, that's not. It's probably not his thing. But he would. Uh, he never said no. He did try it. 
He honestly did. He did. He did a J all by himself. Debbie says, Ruby, why do you take one strand? Uh, Who's split up? Debbie is asking, why okay. are you taking one strand? Because when I go to start, I will explain to you more in detail as to why I take this one strand. Okay. For now, I'm just taking one strand off and putting it beside the other ones. Oh, what the hell with all these stupid fluffs? So it's going to go here. And Martha says, a pie in the face would be really fun. Tee <laughs> Yeah. Linda says, yeah. that sounds I, like me, Jeff. I would give her a pie. In, I would give Jeff a pie in the face, but he ain't giving me a pie in the face. <laughs> Hi, Britt. Britt's with us, Ruby. Hi, Britt. All right. Anyway, that's just not going to go on perfect. All right. So there's the full one, and there's the one all by itself. We'll use the number. Debbie, to answer your question, she takes one strand off and ties it separately because you split that one strand into the six little bits of thread. You split it in. You take two away. That leaves four in the, the strand. So it don't get mixed up with the rest. That's why it's put to the side in a different loop. Yeah. How's so, <laughs> yeah. So I was going to show them rather than try explain it. So she'll, I'll show her when it gets to that. Yeah. You can show her anyway. Yeah. So I'm putting these in order just because it's easier to read these in order. So there's six done. Then I'm going to show you how to get, um, how to do even across so that you've got your um, cross stitch right in the middle of that. Okay, so this is a very tiny cross stitch. Just, you could do this in a couple hours. 10 minutes if you, for you. No, not quite 10 <laughs> minutes. Not quite 10 minutes. Not quite. No. 15. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to put this guy on. Oops. Says, Thanks. I have a lot of cheap colors. Never knew what to do with them. I always use them in my journals. Yeah, that's a good idea. But we also use it to make zipper pulls, if you'd like to show them your zippy pull. Oh, yeah, I made zipper pulls. I made... 12 project bags the other day and I made my own zipper pull. Well, they're not mine. I mean, I followed a tutorial for zipper pulls off of Lori Holt's channel. And this is the bags I made. I made the ones with the, this is a side bag and these are the zipper pulls that I made from Lori Holt's channel. They're super cute. They're on a lobster. But I love these bags. I made these the other day because I needed project bags for all of my projects. And I didn't have enough with those other bags. And these ones are much more sturdier and they're bigger. So I just threw together 12, 12 bags and they're all lined. All right. So. Oh, Linda had pumpkin pie last night with lots of cool whip. It oh, was I just so good. Can't do pumpkin pie. Not one bit. Oh, no. Debbie's in such a funk. She can't get into her craft room. Oh, Debbie. Where did that piece flop off to? I don't know where it went. Flop a lot. So I'm just pulling this off. So we my phone is at 41%. Uh -oh. What's that? Debbie's in such a funk, she can't get into her craft room. I'm saying we yeah, all get like that. No, she's got family that she had to change into her craft room, didn't she? Oh, not sure. Oopsies. How did that only become one strand? Should have two here. 
and that's one again. What the heck? What did I do? What the hell? These are two. Two. And down here, it's only one. Oh my goodness, they put a second piece in here. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. This is a broken off piece. Wow. And they just added Look at it this. to the skein. Oh, they gave me a half a skein. A one with the piece broke off of it. Wow. Like, why is this turning into one single piece? Well, there's why. I guess they get to do that. Oh, well, these will be a little bit shorter, and that's okay, too. Uh, she says Actually, she has they a, don't look shorter. She has a craft room and a sewing room, but I have no so much. I don't have the space for it all. Oh. I wish I had uh, a craft room and a sewing room. Yeah, I found my middle of my finger again. Ow. Wow. This one is going to be a little bit different length. Wow. Well, this is the first time I've ever seen them do this with a with the thread. Have a piece cut off already. <laughs> yeah. Wonder if somebody cut it off. And used it for something? Who knows? I have lost you out of my ears again, damn it. Wasn't me. I have none in. They both fell out. Wow. So I can't hear Olivia right now. That's a good thing. <laughs> they don't stay in my ears. All right, so that is thirty-seven seventy-six. So it will go after this. So it'll go this way, this place here. We're in order. Nan says, "Get the right. damage doll." Oh, she can't hear me. Oh, we've got three <laughs> more to do. Six, seven, seven. I like how this one is just hanging down for me. Jeff, oh, give Ruby a nudge. I gotta put my headphones back in. It would help. Oh, hello. <laughs> are you speaking to me now? Are you? Uh huh. I can hear you now. <laughs> uh, Debbie says my sewing room is going to for my sister who is moving back home. For the first time in 40 some odd years. Yeah, that's what you said on my last live show. That's why you can't get in your craft room. But she's also in a, a craft and funk. Oh. Yeah. We all get that. I had that this year. I had a crafting yeah. funk where I just didn't want to do anything. Nothing. I played games all summer. I tried that. Outside, sat outside. Sat outside. And then I got sick of the games. Then I started crafting again. <laughs> and then Nan says, get a, a Dammit doll. What's a Dammit doll, please? I have a Dammit doll. Okay, what's a Dammit doll? It's a little doll that you smack it and it says, and you say, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> I can just use Grumpy for that. Yeah, I got it from uh, Kathy. She sent us all one. Oh, bless. Yeah. I wonder how she's doing. I don't know. I know. Me either. Yeah. Nope. Don't I don't know. I haven't heard nothing. I hope she's fine. That's all I can tell you. That's all we can say, isn't it? Yep. I hope things are good with her. Well, did I lose my little paper? Sure did. Oh, no, it's up there. 
Have you drank your coffee? It's coming up to 54 minutes. What's that, Liv? It's coming up to 54 minutes. And drink your coffee. Yep. Yep. Oh, she thinks Dai Dai has one. Okay. Yeah, I Dai Dai, I'm sure Martha had one. Or I don't remember who she sent them all to, but I know she sent a lot of us the damn it dolls. It's a, just a funny shaped. I've got it packed away, so it's in my box, my buck, uh, rubber made bin with some of the stuff out of my craft room that I'm just not using. So I don't smack it on the ground. I didn't, or on the table or anything because I didn't want to break it. Yeah. I don't want to ruin it. So I just put it away. I haven't heard from Martha in a bit. Don't know. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure she had one. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I'm sure Kathy sent her one too. Oh shoot. Six seven seven. Oh, yeah, little Ron conned us out of <laughs> getting him something at the supermarket yesterday. Oh, he did? Oh, yeah. Good boy, Rowan. <laughs> he says, Mummy's put my wallet in. I've got a, a, a pound. If I pick a toy, could you add to it? <laughs> okay. He says, I says, how much? He went, one or two pounds, you know. Went, okay. Got to the <laughs> shop. No wallet. No pound, and he picked a ten pound toy. His Pokemon <laughs> cards. Aw. I went. Thank you, Granddad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Grumpy. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, sorry. It was twenty pound, not ten. <laughs> Grumpy. Oh, it was me. twenty. Yeah. Oh, he more. really got. Uh, he really sucked you guys in big. Yeah. Oh, he always does. He just gives them sad eyes. You know how it is. <laughs> yeah. And I've got a stamping magazine. Hey. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to tape these on my head. Oh, that, they I don't said, stay. I said, bend forward. I'd put some packing tape around your head. <laughs> how about if I put packing tape on my phone? that work? No. Oh, well, no. No. I'm I'm actually filming with my phone. Ah. Yeah. Oh, Nan's going to be right back. Okay, Nan. So sorry, Debbie, I couldn't join your room yesterday. I was had the grandson all day. I don't like to be in a lot of uh, groups, Debbie, so I just left that group. Um, I'm already in one with Kit and Crew and, I, and one with my two girls. And I just, I, I don't want to be a whole bunch of rooms ringing, ringing me. That'll drive me to the nut house. Debbie says, tape the number on before you unwrap the thread. Yeah, I keep forgetting to do that, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> I think even <laughs> all of I, all of all of oh, Oliver. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all he kept try telling me the same thing, and I still forgot. But hey. Well, Oliver is the male equivalent to my name. To Ollie. Yep. Olivia. Olivia and Oliver, yeah. Yeah. So if you had a twin brother, you can name him Oliver. God, the world couldn't deal with a twin Olivia. <laughs> uh -oh. Grumpy couldn't deal with a twin. <laughs> oh, poor Grumpy. I'm starting to feel sorry for Grumpy. Yeah, like I feel sorry for Jeff. Yeah, I hear it. Yay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. 
you feel sorry for poor Jeff, eh? Yeah, poor Jeff. Yeah, Jeff doesn't want to do something, he ain't going to do it. Exactly, that's like grumpy. And that's like grumpy. Yeah. Like the other day. No, no, and no. And what part of no don't you get? <laughs> I don't know, but I'll spell it out for him. Uh, <laughs> Debbie says, that's okay, I was something new for her. I didn't mean to start it. Okay, Deb. Oh, that's okay, Deb. I kind of figured that. Oops. But I didn't That's... want you just thinking I was ignoring you or yeah, yeah, I didn't hear it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this because doesn't look right. All right, we got one color left, and then we can start cross stitching. Hey, and this yeah. is a I love this color. This is the pumpkin color I want, Liv. For that thankful one. It's the same as your nails. 38 fit. No, this is a much pumpkin-y color. Okay, so it's 55. Make a nope. list of it. 38, 53. 53. Yeah. This is the last little bitty. Oh, welcome back, Nan. Welcome back, Nan. I'm going to have to rip that ear out because it doesn't look right. She's being a good little doggy. She's laying beside Mommy. She's being a good girl. The street's flooded, I guess, so wow. it is pouring rain out there. It's not raining no more? Oh, don't worry, it's not done. Yep. And we don't even have to cook supper tonight because we're having a lovely turkey dinner that my daughter's going to make. That's making. And I'm excited. Yep. But I really like this color orange for pumpkin. This is a really, really pretty orange color. Okay, make a list of it. Uh, 3853. Yep. Put it in there. I meant to message her to see if I could get a list of the, the DMC equivalents to her color uh -huh. scheme. I forgot. Right. And I got a knot. Yay. Came, just knocked everything out of my head. Shoot. Loosen up. Some here. There we go. Let's start this again. There we go. Oops. Sorry, I whacked it. Didn't feel a thing. Where'd the scissors go? Right here. Okay. Here we go. Last one. So is it any particular type of tea that you use to stain your or dye your No, coffee? you can use any tea. You can use coffee. I use a mixture of tea and coffee. Ah, okay. Yeah, so I brew some coffee, and then I will brew hot water because the, the hotter the water, the more stained your 8 o'clock will get. Yeah. Oh, 
I just want to get this one finished first. <laughs> All right, so there we go. We are all done our flosses. 38, whoops, backwards. 38.53. And it goes in between there because we have 38.54. Done. Everything is done. So we, okay. we, we've done our flosses but I am going to show you guys how to make our we're going to make our own uh, floss biddies or whatever you want to call them floss drops they're called floss drops and I did do a search online for these I did find some in Etsy but it was $36 for 50 of them for these little tiny ones that were plastic and uh, 20 was it 20 something yeah, it was 30 something for the floss drops and 20 something for shipping. I'm like, wow. yeah, bye. I ain't paid $50 for that. Screw you. So I ended up cho not choosing um, that. I thought, you know what? We could make these. Oh, we yeah. could definitely make these out of some paper. So I am going to show you guys how to make some. And we're just going to make our own. Okay, so I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to get up. And when I come back, I am going to show you how to uh, take your Ada cloth, how we're going to divide it, and where we're going to start on this. Because we're going to be doing our October, our October stitch along. So anybody who wants, the pattern is in the description box below. It's actually all the months are in that description box. So we're starting with October because it is October. November's I'll do in November. Um, in November, I'm also going to be doing a Christmas one. And in December, I'll be doing, because the Christmas one is small too. And then in December, I'll be doing the December one and another little Christmas one. So um, there's going to be two next month and two in December. Suppose you and, could do like... Um like the advent calendar the 12 days of christmas and do one i bet you that yeah i bet you there is a cross stitch that exists for that yeah yeah all right so i'm just going to get up here and i'll be right back i'm actually just about to go see if there's an, any word on my granddaughter okay Nan's almost done the piece I'm stitching, and then Nothing I'll have yet. five cross stitches pieces for washing and frame. Then I'm going okay. to start a more advanced well, project. I shall return. Okay. But I do have to get my phone plugged in soon. And I'm having a drink of coffee. That's ah, hard to move. So good. Clean up my mess, get my little garbage bag. I'm done with the tape, so we'll get rid of the tape. I don't need a whole bunch of shit in there. So are you working on anything, Martha? Uh, 
I'm cross stitches then. I'm still working on the piece that Ruby developed. I'm just slow. <laughs> Okay, well, it is uh, pretty flooded out there. I am going to have to plug my phone in, Jeff. I am. Ruby's been teaching me how to stitch in hand, and I am enjoying I can, it. Oh, I can hear you still. Oh, good. Well, good. Just talk up so I can hear you. Well, I'm talking to her. Uh, Nan has asked, has anyone crafting today? And she come like me, she's slow, but she's enjoying it. What happened to my cord? Hang on, guys. I lost my plug-in. Okay. For my phone. Because my phone has got to be plugged in. Or it's going to die. Mm -hmm. And that will end my broadcast. So, anyway. Let's get that pump in here. So, now we're going to start this cross-stitch. My way. My way or the highway. My way or the highway? What you said. Why is this being so much of a jerk? Oh, look at that. You can see my computer, too. Yeah. All right. Okay. Whoopsies. Well, you guys are going to have to see this. I need to see what I'm doing here. Or I can't cross stitch. I got to get comfortable to, to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to be doing the whole entire outline first. It sounds weird, but that's just me. So that is considered. Oh, wow. What's up? Which color green is it? Four three four and three three four five. Okay, Nan the lighter like green. Wait a Nan would like to know, Ruby, are you familiar with rail yes. rolling in a yes. stitch? Please. Yes, I am. All right. So let me look at this pattern. I don't like how they do these symbols, but anyway. It looks like it's in the light green. So we'll do the light green. So that's this green here. So, so this is 3347. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your first strand off right here. And then you're going to separate off of this strand one piece of thread. So this is how I like to do it. I just flick it till they separate. And then I just hold this very taut in my hand. This right here. I pinch it and I pull one strand out very, very carefully without knotting it. So there's my one strand right there. Now I'm going to put this back on. Because I can just work off of this one strand now. 
because there's six pieces on here. I only need one because I am doing the loop method. Showing you guys the loop method because the loop method is the easiest way to start. Yes, Nan, railroading your stitches are very, very, very beautiful. However, to me, I find it way too time consuming. So go I on, can't. Go on. Go on. I can't <laughs> Call him back. Sean. <laughs> I oh. got my great on as well. <laughs> yeah, I know. We heard it. I'm sorry. It's all right. Okay, well, I don't want to tell you his number over the the broadcast. No. Okay, so that is how I keep that single thread there perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna just move these guys over now. Get them out of my way, because I'm gonna be using my pattern. Now, and Ruby's using her phone to video what she's doing, and her son rang her mobile, and that's what we yeah. heard. <laughs> my son was calling me. Yeah, Nan's asking what the heck was going on. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'm on my phone, and it rang. It happens. So to do this, you're going to put both ends together, both of the raw edges together like this. You're going to take your needle, and I take the eye part of the needle, and I just pull it up straight between my fingers. So between your thumb and your finger, and you're going to pinch it in there. See it's in there? pinched now you take the eye of the needle and you squish it between your fingers i can't really see what i'm doing can't see my eye there we go and you pinch it and you move it along and then it threads for you really nicely so what you have at the end of this thread is you have a loop you're going to need that loop to start. So first of all, I'm gonna put this, we're ready to go now. I'm gonna just stick my needle there on my uh, needle binder. I'm gonna take my uh, eight o'clock and I'm gonna just put a fold in it right there. So you can see the fold mark is kind of right there. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna count your stitches across. They're in, in a graph, they're usually 10. So 10, 20, 30, 8, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. They are 46. Your, your pattern is 46 stitches across. Half of 46 is 23. So what you're going to do, and this is how I do it, you usually could start in the middle. Um, this is, I'm going to go down about an inch. So I kind of made room because it's four inches in length because I measured it. Okay. So we're going to go one inch, take that fuzzies off, roughly one inch. So I'm going to say that's one inch right there. So I'm going to count over 23 stitches to the left, to the right. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to poke my needle in there. Now I'm going to count more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There and one, two, three. So that is where I need to do my first stitch. But this outline is outlined. So it's kind of, it's a back stitch all the way around. This is how this border is done. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're not going to start here in this hole here. You see, we're going to start in the hole beside it on that side, because we're going to go all the way around and do our border first. So you're going to drop your needle in there. So that's basically where I'm going to start. Okay, oops, sorry, wrong way. 
you're going to bring your needle up through the back. So at least I've got the hole there to show me. There we go. So there's my hole. Now you're going to drop your needle down into the hole below. See it? The hole below. And then you're going to just turn your work over. And there's your little loop. Just put your needle in there. And then you've got a secured thread on the back of your work. And that way you don't have to worry about the um, thread coming out or finding a place to tuck it in. You don't have to do none of that. So now we're going to do back stitching and we need to back stitch for, let's count, 10, 20, 30, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. For 55 stitches, we're going to do 55 back stitches. Then we're going to go across. So what you do for back stitching, this is just a border, is you're going to come up and you're going to go into that row there like that. So now I'm always going to keep my thread on top of my work. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my needle in here because I'm going back. And I'm going to bring it up into the next stitch I have to go in. So that is how you do back stitching with sew in hand. Okay, do you see how I'm doing this? Okay, so you're going to pull that thread and there's my second stitch. So I, you always have a blank space between your last stitch and where your thread's coming out. So you go back and forward and you go back one forward one so basically this thread should be in the middle of where your needle is see how my needle's positioned my threads in the middle of those two holes and then you're just going to pull that through so railroading stitches is i will show you what it does so i'm going to go in here Oh, I can't show you with a back stitch. No. You're just going to keep going all the way down for 55 stitches. Until you have your complete border done. And I mean, that's really pretty. I like the border. It's very, very unique like that and then you're going to go all the way around here so what you need to make sure is you have 55 squares open between this top border and this bottom border and we're 23 stitches over from the center of our cross stitch and this will go by very quickly when you stitch in hand because you're not worrying about where your thread is at the back or how how you can poke your hole like so, see? Just keep, look at how nice that stitching is. Very nice. Yeah. So we're just going to carry on. Don't pull your thread tight. I just pull it to where I can't, I can't pull it anymore. And you can see I'm not making holes. I probably should use a smaller needle, but if I do use a smaller needle, I find them very hard to thread. And I hate that. And it's kind of nice to do your border first because then you know you've got your project all centered. And if you screw it up and you don't have it centered, this border is very easy to pull out and then recenter your work. So we're going to go 55 stitches down and this is how quick you can get this done by doing stitch in hand. No poking down like this, pulling your thread through, no poking up and trying to find that hole. I, I, I can't handle doing it that way anymore. I haven't been able to do that way for a long time. So, and I kind of fold this down because I don't want my thread snagging on this edge so 
that's kind of basically why I'm doing that folding it. But railroading your stitches will really help your stitches to lay flat, very flat. Kind of hard to do it like this. So we're going to just keep on marking. So let me count my 55 stitches. And we'll put a pin in it. And I got my trusty old pin right there. I'm going to poke you with a pin, Jeff. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifty. One, two, three, four, five. So this is where I need to I need to stitch down to there. That's quite a big I should have started up down more than, and I am going to double check. I am going to double count that to make sure I have exactly 55 stitches because it's always good to count twice and cut once kind of thing. Yep. Measure once, cut twice, whatever, or cut one, measure once, twice, measure twice cut, cut once. Jeez, get that. <laughs> yeah, right. That same. Yeah. And if you find your your thread tank starting to tangle, just give it a couple of twirls. Just give it a couple of twirls. And like I said, if you want to do this pattern, the link is in the description box below. All 12 months are below on a page. You just have to bring up the page, click on the month that you want, and right-click and save it as. So, yeah. I just find it much, much quicker, faster this way. And this is the way I've been cross-stitching all my projects now. I don't ever use a hoop. And besides, I hate stretching my fabric over a hoop. So going this way, too, is you can hold your uh, cloth this way, this way. Whatever way you're comfortable, you can hold your cloth. So remember that. In a hoop, it's kind of awkward because you have to be a certain way to do that. So I kind of use my finger back here. I put that down and it hits my finger, see? The needle is hitting my finger here, and I'm guiding that needle. I'm pushing that needle so that it comes up into the next hole that I need it to be in like that. My finger underneath. But usually, I always have this finger on top, my middle one underneath. But I'm finding it just as easy to put my index finger back there and just work it. Yeah, so I've caught my middle finger a couple of times. Yeah, the only time I, I'll put my index finger up here is when I have to hold down a whole bunch of fabric and yeah. keep it rolled. But uh, Olivia had an idea, but I don't I don't know how that's going to work on this because I don't have a small um, Q-snap. Mine's about, like 11 by 11. Uh, what about a dowel? You know, the dowels that you used to do step up with. Uh, yeah, you could two. use a dowel for sure, yeah. Just to roll it around to give it some stability. Yeah, some stability. Because I find the one that we've been doing, the you were given, um, that flops over a lot. And sometimes, if you're not careful, well, 
I do. I've caught it on the other side. Mm -hmm. And I've had to pull it out because I'm stitching the top to the bottom. <laughs> if that makes sense. Yep. Sure does. I wouldn't care. I've just spent a fortune making and buying Q-snaps and hoops. Whoops. I split my cloth there. Oh, so no. be careful because that will happen no matter which way you're doing it. Now, a lot of people don't like to tie knots at the back of their work. Unfortunately for me, I do tie knots because I just do a half hitch knot. I just secure my thread. I'm always afraid that if I have to wash the piece, I'm always afraid that that thread's going to pull out if I cut it, you know, just by accident. I cut it too short and I don't go through enough stitches because, you know, lots of people will just run their needle through five or six stitches. Well, in a back stitch here, I don't have a whole lot of room at the back except in my back stitching to lock my thread in there. And that's kind of like a, a braid back there. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of like a braid. So there's nothing really tight back there. Now, before I turn the corner and go the other way, I'm going to just double count this again. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, we have 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and we have 55. And over here, we have 46 across. So 55 down, 46 across. So let me get to where I said I had to be. So let's pull this needle out. And let's do one more count of our eight o'clock. And then I'm going to bring this needle down and I'm going to move it on a diagonal because now I'm going to go on the outside of that. See how I've got that in there? On a diagonal, because that's where I'm going to start next. But first of all, we're going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to put that needle in there. And we're going to count one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops, I misplaced that. Ten. So that one's in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. That one. I think we're at forty. Ten. That one. And then there should be five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Whoops. One too many. We have one too many. One, two, three, four, five. We have six. So this is when you find an error like that, you count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. That's 20. Yep. There's 30. 40. Oh. 
Okay, see, I counted wrong because now I got 55. All right. So now I can do away with my pin. I don't really need this anymore. I've had a look for them pins. I can't find any in my local stores. I'll have to look online. Yeah, that's where I got them, Olivia. I got them from uh, Amazon, and Missouri Star sells them. Okay, so now we're going to go across. I probably shouldn't have put the pin away because I still need it. And then I'm just going to fold my fabric, fold it under, and then work in here. Yeah, 46 across. Yep. How much? 46? Yeah. 46. Yep. We need 46 across. I like fighting with my pins because I put a one every 10 stitches. Yeah. And leave them. <laughs> this is such a tiny piece that it's, you know, yeah. I'm used to working with big, huge pieces. Yes. But I get sick and tired of them getting snagged on the side of my eight o'clock or on the corners. I'll pull my thread and it'll snag on the corner on me and I don't like that. So, all right, I should have counted my 46. So I'm gonna pull my pin out. So I still need this guy. Oopsies. Where is that pin? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, we'll just put a pin in there and I'll do ten. Then I'll do ten more and I'll put another pin in. So, let's not do that. There's ten. Okay, so there's 10 done. Yay. Hey, oh, I think it'll be an early night for me and Grumpy tonight. <laughs> Why? Uh, Ron spins around in bed like a, a Catherine wheel. Oh, dear, eh? He, he kept you on your toes? Well, I had his leg wrapped around my neck at one point. Oh, jeez. He, he just, he spins. <laughs> That's all I can say, he spins. He didn't sleep in his own cot? No, he wanted to sleep with Mama. Oh. He wanted a cuddle. Aw. I know. But boy's a radiator. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. My grandkid would make me very hot. Yes. Got to watch how you split your eight o'clock there, too. Ah, oh, shoot. I was waiting for that to happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll just count it. Can't be bothered right now. Once bother you get me. this part done, then all the rest of the pattern will be way easier because you will have all your, your whole entire frame framed out, counted for you. Oops, split my Leda. See, I was coming up in a hole that was below my Ada. Then it's, or below the Ada hole. And now my floss is wonky. So you just fix that. You can see the little loop right here. It's looping on my Ada. So I'll just do this. Pull this off. Pull it across the needle. And now we have a little knot there. Why? Gosh, I wish I could hear from my daughter. I haven't heard anything all morning. Well, they do see good, no news is good news, so fingers crossed. You know? You see it? Okay, let's just pull it off. I'm not going to 
deal with that. So, and besides, fingernails don't help me see my work. <laughs> There we go. All right. Now we shouldn't get any more loops. So how many of you are going to try the October, the monthly? We're going to turn these into little mini pillows. So each month you could display your pillow. And I'm also doing, see where I split? Look. See that? Come up halfway through. Yeah. So yeah. all I do is I take my needle, I back up, right, and come out of the proper hole. See how I split it? And now I'm coming back out of the hole. So it's fixed. Very, very easily. Yep, I will be cutting my ada in the next couple of days. Yep. Get that sorted out. You're going to cut all 12? Uh, yeah. I, okay. mean, I may as well try and stitch them all at the same time. <laughs> like I did and get all you know, organized? <laughs> try. You don't need to try. You can do it. I believe in you. I know. I've got no option. You're going to shout at me if I don't. Yeah. <laughs> So I think I should give it a little count. What do you think? Yeah. To my 46 stitches. Sorry, I'm going behind my hand. So let's make sure one more time. Go back and count your pattern. 10. Actually. 10, 20, 30, 40. 50. 50 Wait, sorry. 10, 20, 30, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Because you're counting the stitches within that border. Yep. Yep. So where's my pin? Right there. All right. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 30. Forty. And that's where my forty six is. Cool. Okay. Just need to do a few more. Everybody's so quiet today. How could that be? When I counted this out evenly. How could what be? What are you on about? That doesn't look right. We can't see, sorry. I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm going to recount these. Okay. For some reason this doesn't look right. I'm going to do up to where I said I was going to do. Just a few more stitches. And I'm going to recount. And none shouting. Martha, are you still here? Nope, she's not in here. 
I don't know if she's still in the chat. Oh, shoot. I split it right there. See? Ah. So, back it ah. out. Yep, she's still in the chat. Oh, yeah, she's still there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Back it up. Don't want to lose that pin. Nope. So I didn't even see that I snagged that right there. Okay. I don't quite remember where I have it pinned. So we'll just start. One more back stitch. Yep, yeah, one more back stitch. All right, hopefully, I don't have to do any more counting like that. For Pete's sake, where's that needle? Where'd the pin go? There it goes. Okay, so now this is actually how small these will be. <laughs> now I just need to carry on and do the 55 this way. Did and have fun with it. Did you put your pin away? No, not yet. Okay, I just can't see it on the white towel. Oh. Because I just stuck it in this thing ah. where the needle minder is. And Put I just on. poke it through here and here, and then I push it inside so the pin's not exposed. Ah. That's my little cross stitching pin. Okay? Yay! Ah. Well, it looks like I might have enough thread to do this border. And that's just one. Wow. I don't know, maybe not. They've all got the same border going around. <clears throat> As you can see here, this part here is all stitched by back stitching as well. Yeah. And again, How did you, sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Where on the pattern did it tell you what color to do the the, the border? <coughs> I just have to look at the pattern. Oh, it's down the bottom. Okay. Yeah, like I don't know where this light green is used because there's the two colors here. So I'm going to save the darker green for the October and uh -huh. for these little boxes here and for the, the house. Yeah. So the lighter green, I'm going to do this part and the border. And then the darker green will look really cool on that. Yeah. That's all yeah. the colors, isn't it? Sorry, what you call fall colors. Yep. And then the the uh, 
the other one, like I'll, I'll still need more of this thread because the next thing I'm going to do will be this up here. So I'm just going to work my way down the pattern. The ivy looks like well, an ivy. Yeah, it kind of looks like an ivy. Mm. And every single one of the patterns have that this border and that ivy on them. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Three, three, four, five. So I'm probably going to run out of thread here. I can tell I'm not going to have enough. That one wants to split. I don't know why. Extra diamond care to it. <laughs> Is there anything in chat from Cassie yet? She hasn't responded. My ass is not lazy, it's just procrastinating a lot. Why? <laughs> then Martha says if I got up off my lazy ass, I would have been done already. Nancy. What do you I need know. to get done? No. Martha's what do you got to get kitchen. done, Martha? A kitchen. How did I get this so un unlove uncentered? I don't know. No, because you put the, the top crease in the top row and then you counted four <coughs> across. Like this whole thing is not centered. Like I don't get it. Well, you said you could have moved down a bit. You could have started further down. Yeah. Maybe that's what's thrown you off because you started so high up. Yep. You know? Yeah, I don't I don't want to do it this way. This is uh I can't see my stitches very good there. But I can sure see them here on the side. Oh, she still has to scrub the rest of her floor. Oh. She's cleaning. Yep. Needs to be taken out to the shed. Might get that done today and clean out coat closet. Oh, all right. Let me get myself a little bit. You got excited there. You moved. <laughs> Oh, I keep hitting my mouse. Okay, so. Right to about there. I'm just going to make that pole big enough. Yep. So I can see it. But I will have to get thread. I don't think this is going to all finish in one. Oh. But I usually run my thread where it's very small. I hate. Wasting okay. thread. Yeah. You can see it's getting pretty small. See, it's starting to pull off the needle. When it does that, it's almost... I hate it. <laughs> it's almost a warning sign. Change your thread. Yep. 
I yeah. hate it when that happens. Yeah, it happens a lot. <laughs> oh, Ron had a, a McDonald's supper last night. Mm -hmm. And the soft toy in the McDonald's was Mr. Bumpy. Was so Mr. I, Bumpy? Yeah, Mr. Bump. So I've took it off and it's my new pink cushion. Oh, all right. One says, what do you want with it, Mama? I went, I'm going to stab it with my pin over and over. He says, can I do it? So I let him do it a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> you let him stab it? Yeah, stab it with my needle. Oh, nice. Then he, you know, he wouldn't be upset. That's what I was going to do with it. You can see my, oh, look at this. I split it. Oh, no. Shit. Pull it out. You can see where it's split. See? See the yeah. split? Yep, yep, yep. Pull that out. And it's not like you can just ignore that because it doesn't go away. <clears throat> ah, this thread's got kinks in it. Just run the bobbin. <laughs> Nan says, Martha, your deadline is Halloween or no treats. She's already at them, Nan. Looks like my thread is getting shorter by the second. Yeah. All right. I mean, I wish we could have magic thread that just stays on until you did all of that color. I know, right? <laughs> that would be a blessing. Oh, my Lord. You don't change yeah. Until you've done that color. All right. I'm going to have to break down and get rid of this thread. So I'm just going to drop my needle to the back of my work. And this is how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to run my needle behind stitches. And I'm just going to keep going up. Like I'm twisting it. Mm -hmm. Through here. All the way up here. And then I'm going to do a half hitch knot. And I'm just going to run some more stitches under some stitches and call that done. Where's me scissors? Put them back? No. Uh, Where are you scissors? Right there. No. Uh, oh, yeah, next right here. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll That's a bit. Up. Right a bit. So that's how I do my thread. Now you cannot see that knot or even know there's a knot there. You can't feel it. So. Um, well, Martha says, Ruby, you Ruby. need an Ada ruler. What's an Ada ruler? Yeah, Ruby, you need an Ada ruler. What's an Ada know. ruler? So now I'm going to pull off another strand. Of a thread, not off that one, off the smaller one. What am I doing? Hi, Dai Dai. Hi, Dai Dai. Ruby, I was taught to use a smaller length of thread because keeping it so long would be more threads out. Ruby, I was taught to use smaller lengths of thread because keeping it so long wore the thread out. Oh, really? I, I honestly have not had that happen where it thinned out. And I know what you're talking about because it happens in my beading thread. Yeah. It wears out. It gets starts getting especially Nymo thread. Um, I don't know, maybe because this is DMC thread. 
or I don't know. It hasn't done it to me yet. But I know what she's talking about because it does it does thin. It will thin. And then my beading thread does that. Especially the Nymo thread. These fingernails are preventing me from getting my needle threaded. Uh -oh. All right. I got my second cup of coffee. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take this, put it back on my spool. Don't think I need it right now. Bent. Oh, it's similar to the the ruler that you've got on your magnetic thing. You know your ruler that you've got on your met metallic magnetic. Yeah. That's what she's shown. Oh. I've checked that out. Okay, hey. so why don't I figure this out? I'll check that out. Apparently, it's a rule that you don't need to count. You just follow the lines. Yeah, because I hate counting. Because I count over and over and over again. I just put a, I put a pin every 10. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's worked for me okay. so far. All right, give me my thread back. Dada, how is your needlework coming on? Start this. I'm going to back stitch into there. I'm going to start right there. Okay, okay. Here. Let's snag everything in sight. Jeez. <laughs> now you see why I don't do stitching like that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I can't stop with this cross stitch. I keep picking it back up. She says, uh, Dada says, even when using DMC. Do it. Really? I haven't had that happen yet, Dada. Touch wood. Yeah, you know, because you've said that, it's going to happen now. Yeah. <laughs> my, my thread's going to thin out and break. Yeah. Well, I wonder if that's what happened to mine, with it being old thread. I didn't think I pulled on it too strongly, too hard. Right. It just kind of like snapped in the middle. Okay, what is going on here? Why does it do this? Oh, 
Oopsie. Bird's nest. Yep. It's just my threads twisting and twisting, so. And I'm not turning my needle like a normal human being. Oh, Dada's just ordered the ruler. Thank you, Martha. Yeah, I got to check that ruler out. Yeah. So what do you do? You hold the ruler up to the eight o'clock and you don't have to count? It, It's like a, a corner. So you know to stitch straight across and straight up however many stitches you need to go. It's similar to the one that you've got that holds your pattern onto your metal plate. Right. I don't know what I've done. No, we made it to the end of our border. Now, I'm not going to cut my thread off, but there's my whole border all done. That's how big this will be. What I'm going to do is I'm going to travel. Hmm. <clears throat> I need to be over here. So. so I'm going to travel across. I'm going to travel down one, two, three, four five stitches so let me travel down five stitches so what i'm just going to do is just hide my thread behind my stitch work so i'm down about five stitches i'm not going to sit there and count them i never do so one two three four five over or five down and one two three and the fourth one i need to be up in the corner to drop down there so one, two, three, and four. So here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five down. One, two, three, four over. I need to be in that hole there. And now I'm going to go take a stitch on a diagonal. And then I'm going to come up in this hole here because that's going to be my next stitch. And this is where I'm going to be turning my work every which way in order to take those diagonal stitches so I can come up there. So this one here will go right above on the diagonal. So we've got that so far. So we're going to go here and up here on a diagonal. Nan, if you right click on the pattern yeah. and then click trans, uh, translate to English. Ah. Uh, doesn't look right because it's not right. I got to go back out. And instead of taking my thread off, I am going to just go back out. I split it here. I came up in the split and I also missed a stitch. Oh, screw it. I got to take it off. As much as I didn't want to, I forgot a stitch. I thought that doesn't look right. <laughs> <laughs> You're just showing us so we don't do it. 
Yeah. Trust me, I've done it. <laughs> Come on, don't be a bitch. Where are you snaked back there? Oh, no. Did I seriously do that? Snagged right through my thread. That you don't want to do. So I'm going to try to pull one at a time. Nope, that one ain't budging. That one will, will budge. There we go. Pygmy. Wow, that was a bloody mess I made here. Oh dear. Whoops. Wow. They even split it over here. Like, who does that? I need to get this one out. Oh. Burn it. Oh, that one's good and snagged back here. I can see it. There, I broke it. That makes me feel so much better. Uh, wow. All um, right. The that ruler for you is twenty nine forty nine dollars Canadian. Yeah. Wow. Sure. That's not cheap. No. Nope. All right. Let's pull this out. Pull that off. Fuzzy. I'm just going to pull this all off. Pull this out, and I'm just going to end this thread because I broke it and thinned it, and I'm not going to use it. That's what happens when you fray it with the needle. It's very thinned right there, so we're not going to use it. Nan, did you manage to translate it? None's having trouble translating it um, to English, that pattern. Um, the website. You got to use it. Google, your Google Chrome should translate it automatically. I don't know if it should she's come on up her. automatically. Translate this page. I don't know if she's got you on the big TV with a phone or she's on a computer. Oh, I see. Okay. All right, so goodbye to this thread because I screwed it up. It's too thin and I'm not, not hiding threads. So we will just start all over again in the right spot. I'm going to take a little break. Okay. Because yeah, we're just, we're just cross-stitching today. I'm going to check and see if there's any message from my daughter yet. Yep. Nope. I'm almost tempted to phone her and ask her how Raina is. Well, it's your prerogative. I mean, yeah, you're worried. Yes, I am very worried. Definitely. Very, very worried, and I have every reason to be very worried. Yeah. That pretty. We got one color done. La dee da. La da dee da da dum. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Just stay nicely so it doesn't fall. And I shall return. That tastes like pumpkin spice. 
Oh, it's appropriate day to drink pumpkin spice coffee. Ooh. I have more coconut coming. Never tried uh, pumpkin. Dai Dai, those cards you've been making are beautiful. Okay, Nan. Back. Hey. Welcome back. Hey. Right. Yeah. And I'm going to show you a little trick for some confetti stitches. When you have a big long thread, we will do something with the confetti to, to make the confetti stitches. So I need more thread now because I ruined that piece. Well, that's okay. I can afford to waste a few pieces. I could have used that, to be honest. I don't think the whole thing was ruined. But, you know. You I know. Don't mess with knots. Knots. Don't like them. Don't do them. Yeah. And the confetti pieces are going to be these ones here. These little staggered ones. Because they're kind of in the middle of nowhere.
I'm going to stick this back on the floss holder. None. If you just right click in any of the text, it will be, it will translate for you. Hi, Tracy. Tracy's with us, Ruby. Hi, Tracy. Tracy, how do we get in contact with you to say that Ruby's live? Because I know you don't have Facebook anymore. Okay. Welcome back, Debbie. Wait here, my ends. I just want to lose my ends. If you just right click in the middle of the the text, it will say translate to English. If not, just click on the picture, right click the picture. It'll be in English anyways. Yep. Martha's put it in, but still Russian. I think it's Russian. Yes, it's Russian. Okay, so back to our pattern. I need to be... Uh, Kathy posted a message. Better go read it. Okay, do what you need to do. Aww. She's reading books with her mommy. Oh, nice. And her dad. Oh, they've let both in this time. All right. Well, that's good to know. She's in good spirits. Reading her books, she's pointing to things. Okay. okay, so one, two, three, four, five, down, one, two, three, four, fifth one, two, three, four, five. and the fourth one over. One, two, three, four, and I need to be there, correct? So if I do it there, one, two, three, four. Nope, I need to be in that hole. So if I do next there, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. No. And this one, one, two, three, four. It wasn't the right hole. Okay. You screw this up by one stitch. It's you got to rip it all out. And I ain't doing yeah. that. I have sewed this A four times so far, and I'm ripping it out again. Okay. So now let's do this the right way. That one. I'm putting it down so I can concentrate. That one. <laughs> this one. And then I need to go up on that one right there. There we go. Now we're going to do one here and one here. And I should be one block away from that border when this circle is complete. And I am exactly one block away from there. See, now it's working out. Now we're going to take two stitches across the top. Usually you would back stitch with one stitch, but I'm using two threads because I like my back stitching to be bold. Okay, and then the next stitch is going to go down on an angle. So we're going to go down there. Tracy, did you I'm find the video down. to make that Two, ribbon three. flower? One. Two. 
I haven't seen Tracy since that last stream. And three. And we're going to go across. <laughs> uh, Tracy, do you have... Uh, you don't have Facebook. Do you have Messenger or do you have... What's the other one we use? Discord. Oh, we're going to go up. It's just so we can let you know when Ruby's live, basically. Got the night. And Tracy, I don't mind texting you a message that Ruby's live if that's what you need. Uh oh, the dreaded knot. Yep, the dreaded knot. I hate that knot. And I hate these kind. This one's not pulling out. I need a more pointier thread, a needle, yep. than that blunt one to pull on this. There we go. Hmm, let's stick you in there. So we're going to go up on a diagonal for three. And we're going to go across. Nope. I'm going to go one, two, three. So I've done my three. So we're going to go this way now. I'm going to go in here and up on this side here. We can come out there like that. Think. That looks cute. And then I'm going to go back in this hole and then on a diagonal we have that. See? I guess I should bring it up a little closer. Just trying to read my pattern too. So we're going to go down one, two, three. One. Telegram app. I don't know that one. Um, mm -hmm. And then we're going to go across for two. Let mm -hmm. me get my Discord number and then I can give you that link. That's not a problem. Okay, whoopsies, I'm taking one too many stitches. So now we've done this, we've gone across, now we're going to go up three. Let's go on a diagonal. Uh. Tracy, can you take note of this? Or I don't know how to do this any other way. We're going to go across to There you go. That's my Discord. We're going to go down to, whoopsies, yeah, that's right, no it's not, to go down to this way, right? Did you ever find that ribbon flower tutorial? I've been waiting to see you since that day to give you it. 
And now we're going to do a straight stitch. I'm going to go back this way on a diagonal here. And we're going to go across one. I just find it just as easy to just flip my stuff here, my eight o'clock, flip it around. Yep. Like so. And then. And because so it's backstitch, did... you don't have to worry about the directional of the all. So uh, we're going to go thing. back in here. I have to turn it this way. Back in here, up here. And that's that. So now we're going to go back here. We're going to come back out in this here. So that's where we need to be. Right here. So we can go. Oh, sorry. Uh, here I got to go. Sorry, sorry. I got to go down one. This way. So we can make these back stitches here. Let me get for you. So we're going to go down one and up. One, down one, and up one. Hey, good, Tracy. That's the ribbon flower tutorial that Ruby used to make that flower. Why is this doesn't seem like it's on the same thing, but it sure is. Okay, so we're going to go on a diagonal. Now we're going to come back up in that hole there. So we should have that. So now we're going to go and do two stitches on a diagonal. So this one. This one. I'm going to go across for two. I'm just going to mirror what we did over here. Now we're going to diagonal here for three. And two stitches sideways. And we're going to diagonal. Why does this look like it's not going to fit in here? Well, that middle scroll should be on the middle square. Yeah. That should be. Try putting the two corners okay. together and see if that comes up in the middle. So this one here... So this one's going to go up across here. So we're going to go this way and down. Sure can. Just let me get it again for you. There is one. Two. Three. looks right it's having a look and I split my thread right there and I'm not taking that out so it's going to stay like that so now we're going to go up three I'll only text you when Ruby's going live if I know <laughs> up three and I think I go across two, yeah. Across two. So why didn't that work? Hmm. Oh, because I'm in the wrong hole. Oopsies. 
it still is not even. What what did I do differently? There's two over there, and there's one, two. I don't know if I go this way. Try putting the two corners of the border together, see where the middle is on your ADA. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure that the scroll is in the middle. Something is not working here. And I think it's got to do with over here. Because there's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's pause for the clock. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six there. There's only two there. And I need to take two stitches down. What did I do wrong? Did you get a Tracy? Oh. Okay. <laughs> One second, please. Oh, he's gone. Rude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That worked. There's 20. 21, 22, 23. That is right. So where did I screw up? Yeah, I'm looking for it. Don't worry. So up one stitch there, over one, two. This one is right. It's this one I'm concerned about. So up two, over two, down one, two, three. Over two. Oh, I went, went over, over three. Three here. Yeah. Jeez. That's why I'm short. I thought you were born that way. No, I'm not mind. <laughs> I am born that way. <laughs> hey, good things come in little packages. That's why I'm so tall. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank God it's easy to pull out. Oh, yeah. Tracy, let me know have you got it and I can get rid of We'll have to figure out how to make a, a chatting channel on Discord. Oopsie. Oh my God, what did I do here? Don't tell me this is going to snag again. Bitch. Don't do me like this. Oh, I see. I snagged the thread in the back. Ah. Uh huh. Let's pull it out. Fixed. There we go. Now it should pull out very carefully. Oh, Ruby, you might know this one. Does anyone know about cast iron pans? I gave some from Pampered Chef, and when I dry them with a paper towel, it is gray. Yeah, um, 
Unfortunately, that's the way cast irons are, Debbie. This is still snaked. Um, do you oil your pans? Season them? After every use. Because we, we rub oil in ours even after we use it. That is why that was snagging. Debbie now says, maybe it'll come it, out. Is it dangerous? And yes. No, it's not dangerous. Okay. She said, no, I haven't been, but I did cure it when I first got them. No, you should be curing it all the time. After every use, rub a little bit of take paper towel, rub a little bit of oil around, like a little bit, and put a piece of paper towel in it and put it away to absorb the oil. And every time you use it, it will always be seasoned. And your pan will turn gray if you don't oil it. It'll go rusty looking. That thread does not look nice. I don't know what's wrong with it. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we need to go across two. She says, okay, thanks. Oh, for F sakes. Thank God that's an easy knot to get out. We should be going one or two. Yep, two. Oopsies. I need to go on a diagonal. I was going to put three there again. Oh, dear. There is three. Drop down here. Over one. Up there. Still doesn't look like it's going to work. Have some faith. It's so quiet. <laughs> Two. Three. One, two. It's not going to work. I don't know why. What the hell? I'm missing a stitch. From where? On this side. I'm counting 23 here, but not 23 here. So how did I screw up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty, one, twenty two. So I got to pull this whole border out. Oh, no. Yep. That's halfway along the top and all. Yeah, but that's okay because what you do is you snip right there in the middle. Oh. You have enough thread to tie off. I 
I didn't know this one. So this and how many times did I count this? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Debbie, I've, I had the grandson last night, all day yesterday and last night, and it's, and today he's been so loud. <laughs> I'm not used to the quiet anymore. These two here are pissing me off. So snip and snip and snip. Like this side will be easier to pull out than the other side. Maybe. Hopefully. There we go. Maybe I can get going now. And I love the sound of the ocean. Oh, yes. I'll worry about that later. Hmm. Oh, I tied a knot there. That's why. That's why I just want to come out. That's why it's giving me a headache. Cut that knot off. There we go. Okay. So make sure you have enough thread to tie off. Mm -hmm. You can work out. I could hear Charlie snoring. We've got Charlie today. Charlie's Cassie's dog. Ah, well, she's in. Yeah. So who's got Chase? Margaret. The other grandmother. Her time. Damn it. Bitch. This is the problem I'm going to have now is I'm snagged in threads. That one's snagged. Good, I got it out. I just want to pull this piece out and I'll refix this in a minute. Yeah. So this one snagged on something. How generous of you. This is a headache. Flipping headache. Oh, Martha calls intermission. What? Martha calls intermission because you're getting a headache. You gotta kind of fix your holes. This is gonna give me a headache right near where I'm almost done. <laughs> well, these things are here to try us, aren't they? I mean, I'm ready for throwing this one across the floor and stamping on it. Oh, for F sakes. I've snagged a thread right here. Okay. 
It would have been easier just ripping the whole thing out and starting again. Just saying. Yeah. I would have done because I've got no patience. Oh my God, you bitch. <laughs> Debbie says there isn't a magnifying big enough magnifying glass big enough for her to see. Yep, that is literally snagged somewhere in here, and I'm not seeing where it's snagged because it's being a little bitch. <laughs> Oh, for Pete's sakes. Man, oh man, what a mess that is. Wow. Just let me get these last three out. Debbie, I've just had my eyes retested. We found out it's been six years since I last had my eyes tested. And uh, oh my God, the glasses I can see again. Didn't realize how blind I was. But they say it's going to get worse because diabetes always lose the eyesight. Diabetics, sorry, not diabetes. Okay. All right. Well, that piece is long enough. Oh, jeez. To tie off. It's very stretched and thin. Oh, look. That's broken. It's just a little thin piece. I put a lot like that. Well, I know what I'll do. Oops. I thought it was because it's all thread. Where did the needle go? Get over here. Because I'm lazy. Let's see if this one will pull out. I don't think it will. No, because there's stuff tied in there. Yeah, I don't think this is going to come out anyway. It looks like it's waved right in there. It's hanging on for dear life. Yeah. Want to get that little short thread in there. You wouldn't think two small strands of floss would cause so much hassle. Yep. If it didn't want it to come out, it probably would. Yeah, it did. That short one did, mm. which is fine, because I'm just going to tie a knot right here with these two little short threads, and then we ain't going anywhere. Uh, it's no time for a stand-up, Ruby. What? It's no time to stand up. You've been live three hours. I know, and I haven't done much, have I? There, well, that you've one. it up. That takes time. That one's fixed. I missed that. Now, this one I will worry about later. So let's put our thread back and go continue this. Like, I counted this things like 15 times. Yeah. And I still screwed up. You didn't screw up. You just did things to show us how not to. Yeah. 
apparently that's the crafter's mantra. Looks better now. There. There. And there. So now we move over one. Now it all fits. See? I was yeah. missing one. So I'm going to pull this out so I can re stitch. Actually, I probably don't have to pull all this. That might be long enough to tie off. Oh, I have to take it all out. Oh, no. Oh, you dirty pygmy. Well, better to do it now then. Well, I have finished. the thread on because now I'm changing thread. Mm. So I might as well finish this thread up first. Right, I'm putting mine away because I'm making silly mistakes because I'm not concentrating. I'm not going to put around with this. I'm actually just going to go along and snippy snip it all off. I'm not pissing around. So you've got one of these to do every month? Yeah. Are you just going to do it once a month or? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one floss tube a month. Right. <coughs> yeah, yeah, I might catch up then. Yeah, you will. <laughs> oh, I could just use a... Um, thingamajigger um what's it called a lint brush those roller lint brushes yeah yeah to um take the fuzzies off of my thing because yeah, it looks stupid my black ears left a lot of marks that I've just ripped out again Okay. Pull this out. How does that look? Long enough? Good enough. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've worked with tiny threads. You can do it. Like that and just pull it out. <coughs> Bless you. Try this again. No, my sausage fingers would not be able to tie that off. So all I really want to do is get one of the threads under here so I can tie a knot. So what I'm going to do is pull that out. Hold on to one thread. Pull one thread out. 
one thread back out like that. See? Now mm -hmm. it's over top of the actual uh, braiding there. And then you just tie it off. Huh. Because it's too short for me to try and weave it in. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just tie a little knot. That's not forever easy. Probably need tweezers. I kind of like got a small uh, crochet hook and dragged it through. Yeah, that'll work too. <laughs> That's the only way I can think go. of tying it off. It's tied off. It's secured. It's safe. Nice. Yeah, and then I'll just get a lint brush and clean all that lint stuff off. It's like everywhere. Okay, now we'll fix this. Because now I'm going to change threads. Mm -hmm. So I might as well finish it up with this one. So what I need to do is to go over one more. So I'm I'm down here and I need to go up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna make a big long pass. I don't want a big huge thread running behind my work. So we'll just oops, we'll just go up here. Keep it, see, hidden. Keeps your neat your work neat at the back. All right. Now we're going to fix this up. And we're going to go down there. See? Easy fix, guys. Oh, i got to stretch my leg. Yes, it's been three hours. What do you think of that? Oh, what are they saying in chat? Uh, Anything about Ronaldo? Nothing's been said at all. Everyone is just enthralled in what you're doing. But well, now you know how to fix your boo-boo. Yes. And you would have taken this all out and then chucked it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I would never have done that. <laughs> See, I have enough thread left over that I could just go right back down this side and fix it. Yeah. I've got very short patience. I don't have any. Mm-hmm. Oh, Nan says when she gets the patterns printed of the seasons you're working on, Ruby, I'll give it a try for a monthly stitch along. Well, Nan, you should because it'll be nice to have someone else in here stitching along with me instead of me doing it by myself. Huh. You know, <laughs> Olivia's just getting frustrated and throwing hers around. She's abusing it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I gotta take this stitch out. That's all I'm doing is taking out stitches today. Today is my day for taking out stitches. Unpicking. Because I split this right here again. No. Oh. See? I didn't go in the hole properly. Uh now I would like to know what size is the piece is in the picture. It's very small, Nan. It's three, it's roughly three and a quarter by four. I know it's four inches. That I know. Yes, yeah, she'll do it. Good. Um, I'm glad to hear that. Debbie's coming into some money soon. I might order this one. Order it, Debbie. I don't understand. It's a free pattern. And this is free. You don't have to pay for this pattern. All you need these... is your thread and your Ada. Yeah, these are free patterns, Debbie. You don't pay for these. You just need your yep, thread and, and uh, Ada cloth. And I got my Ada cloth from Amazon. You get a really big piece for $27, I think it is. You get a piece. 39 inches by 59 inches. That's a humongous piece. We're getting little knots. Let's 
So let's fix our yarn. Yes, Debbie. Uh, the thread and the Ada cloth and the size 24 embroidery needle, tapestry needle, sorry. Yep, and I got, and you can get your tapestry needles from either Amazon or Michaels. They both have 20, size 24. And Michaels is a good cheap shop for the thread. Yes, 79 cents for one skein at Michaels, as opposed to online in the States. 60 cents in the States, but you got to pay the exchange and you have to pay shipping. And nobody wants to. But I want to change thread. So I'm already bored with this green. Nan, all I can suggest is you right click on your mouse in the middle of the page and halfway down it should say translate to English. I wish I could give you the translated version, but I, I don't know how to do it. And you don't really need what's said in there. It's just telling you how to do the cross-stitch monthly templates. If you click on the picture, it will do a bigger version and just copy and paste that out. And that go. Out. Oh my god. I hate splitting this. When you right click in the middle of the page, Nan, a little box should come up saying, let me have a look so I know I'm doing it right. You should have back, forward, reload, save as, print, cast, and then it should say translate to English. Click translate to English and it will automatically translate. Yeah, but I don't think she's on a computer, uh, Livia. I think she's on an iPad. That's why she's having problems. Ah. Okay. Debbie, tell you what. Olivia will go and download them and she will post every single one of them in the group. It's not Debbie, it's none. The picture. It's just a JPG. Or I can do that after, Liv. Nice. You could just make a whole photo album with all of them in it. Yeah. For free. Uh, let me make a new folder. Call it monthly. And Debbie can go in the group and just right click on them and save all those pictures and there's her monthly things yeah she's on her phone sorry nan i'm doing the pictures now oh she's on her phone yeah yeah, she'll be able to go in the group and save them on her phone. It'll be super easy that way. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, my allergies are killing me. Oh, dear. My eyes are itchy, sneezy, runny nose. God knows what next. 
we were all sitting outside yesterday because we were um, cooking dinner. We had our family dinner yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. And it is yucky outside. Sure can tell winter's on its way. It's cool, blowing, way, rainy. We had a nice little thunder and lightning show this morning. Holy cow. Weeny. Windy. Weeny. Very windy. There, look, I split it again. I ain't backing out of that. That could just kiss my butt. <laughs> it's staying like that. I'm too close to finishing this. I'm almost done, guys. <clears throat> December. And we're going to change color. Oh, boy, we're really changing from one green to another. Really. Actually, I don't even think we need to make confetti stitches. I might be able to hide. I might be able to hide my stitching. My thread in the back there. Oh, hell yeah. We don't even have to cut our thread and tie it off. Oh, my gosh. Yay. Yay. That's always fun. Just carry on. Well, I'm kind of glad I'd done that uh, fancy whirly thing first. Yes. So, would you recommend doing that one first and then? Yes, because now I've got something to hide my threads in to do those few stitches. There we go. It's all fixed. Who said I missed a stitch? Who said that? I never said that. Who did it? So, just going to tie a wee knot and make a few passes. Like, I wish there was somewhere tight to go through here, but there is not. So, I'm going to split my thread. All right, we're done with this color for now. Get in there. Get in the garbage. Get off. All right. So that's all fixed. Cute. Now, now let's get a nice dark green piece. And then we're going to start spelling October. Yay. And October is spelled with dark green. Okay, why are you not letting me post the whole folder? Gonna sit that right there. You have to pull that down, pinch it between my fingers in order for it to work. Didn't work because I bunched it up. Nope. All right. So. Oh, Linda's back. She went out and got herself a new glue gun and some smokes. Okay. So I'm going to start over here. I'm going to do this one first because I want to. I want to work this direction. So. We're going to start with our first cross stitch. Uh, does it come out on this side? Which side? Nope, it goes on this side of 
the end. So we're going to start here. We're going to make our first cross. And we're going to secure it, our thread. Okay. I'm going to go this way and this way. So there's our first cross stitch. Now I need to travel to these two little pieces up here. So this is how I'm going to do this. I am not going to run my thread right across there. This is a dark thread and you will see it in your, um, in the back. So you just want to kind of run your threads in behind all these and knot it while you're at it. You know, because this just loves to knot. Gonna kind of camouflage it, and I need to be about right there. Like so. So you see? Yeah. Keep your thread hidden. If you drag it across your back here, because there's no stitches that'll be in here to hide it. It's different if you had a whole bunch of stitches to put in here, but you don't. So this is railroading. I'm going to do my first stitch in railroading. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to take my first cross stitch. So we're going to come up here. Sorry, you got to split your, your thread and go in. Oops. <laughs> How about you go on a diagonal? It helps. It helps. Just a little bit. Yeah. So railroading is splitting the stitch. And this is where the time-consuming part comes in. And I can't be bothered to do this. But it does help make your stitches lay flat and perfectly straight. So there's my first stitch. Why am I doing it this way anyway? Hi, Lynn. Lynn's with us. Hi, Lynn. Okay, so railroading. You're going to go across. You're going to split your threads open. And you're going to go in. And it makes, your, it makes a perfect stitch. But you see... I could care less about that. So I'm just going to go back over here and carry on. So one, two. So there's our two stitches. going to snag no matter what I do. Okay, now I need to be on these two here. So, traveling in the back. So, I'm just going to bring my thread down here. And run it around and around. So, it stays in there. Come down here. Right, Nan. October's so long. The pattern is in the files in Ruby's Facebook Facebook group. Okay, these ones are on the inside. So I need to come up here. And make a stitch here. And that one's okay. There. I'm 
and having to add these one at a time. And there's those done. Those ones done. Now we're going to just wrap our needle around here and we're going to travel to our next destination with our thread. And that's up here with these guys. See, I have no threads running around the back. So that's the way you want it to look. So, in that hole. In there. And I like to just go straight across. So that's the next hole. I always pay attention to where I have to be next. So I don't have to keep putting my needle to the back of my work. But I do have to, to travel. Okay, there's those two done already. Now we'll just come down here. And I'm just kind of wrapping my thread around there just to keep it. Don't pull it tight, though. Like I just did there, but I fixed it. All right. Okay, and this one needs to be on the inside here so now we're going to travel again to start with our october so there we've got all of these done now, if you wanted to backstitch, like I said, you can use one strand of thread, but I like using two because I like the boldness of the backstitching. I really do. And I like how bold the border is. Sticks out really nicely. Okay, so to start the R, I need to be on this one here. So I need to be over here right here in this, between the straight and the, the diamond. And I need to be down three spaces and one right over there. So what I'm gonna do is I really don't, don't matter because I can basically just travel. It's not that far of a distance, but I still want to, I still want to be basically where I need to be. And that is right there. Yeah. Okay. So, see, I'm not going to drag a thread from here to here. That's what you don't want to do. Okay. They are all on the site in the files. Thank you, Liv. Oh, you put them in the files. Yeah. And they're all individual. So, you just have to click on the month that you want to cut and it will show it in a big format. And then you just print it out to your own printer. Okay. So, I need to be one, two. And then the third one, am I in the right spot? One, two. Third one, yep. Okay, so we're in the right spot now. So we're going to do two stitches straight across. And then we're going to go down. So we're going to drop down and one over. Oops, not yet. i got to finish that stitch. What are you doing, Rips? It's so cute. Could fill it with rice. 
and throat it grumpy. Okay, I need to do one, two, three, four, five down. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> so you got to go five down. And that split. Oh, ruin has been on my phone and it needs charging up again. Two. Ruby? Yeah? I wasn't sure if you could hear me. What? I wasn't sure if you could hear me. That's why I thought. Oh, okay. yeah, I could hear you. <laughs> I'm all alone here. Why? No, you're I not. Nobody's here. Welcome back, Nan. Nan, if you go on Ruby's Facebook page, in the files, I've listed each one as a month. So just click on the month you want, and it should open it up in a PG. All right, so. JPEG, sorry. Up here. I'm going to travel up here, back to this space here. And I'm going to do two stitches here for the R. One, two, and then I'll travel back and finish them. And because this lettering is so small, you can you can travel back and forth. And then over here, we're gonna go right there. Oh, thank you, we're going to do two stitches here. So we're going to travel up. I love we're traveling doing, upwards. Doing two stitches here. <laughs> Since you showed me, I've tried to travel upwards all the way along. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. Oops. Could have told me that at the beginning, though. Um, well, you didn't ask. I didn't know what to ask. Oh, my goodness. And now we're going to travel down here. And we're going to do the two stitches for the remainder of the R. That's so diddy. And now we're probably going to have to go in behind and travel a little bit to go do the E. So there is the R done. Okay. So I'm going to travel behind some stitches. I just don't want to drag my thread across. If I don't have to. And I'm going to start the E. So I'm going to be one over and one up. So one over and one up. See? One over, one up. One over and one up. And I split the thread and I saw it. I wish you caught it before you went any further. Now we're going to go one down. Hold that over because that's going to irritate me. And then we're going to do three stitches across. So there's one. There's two. Now before I before I go up, I need to be in this top right corner to travel up so i'm going to go on a diagonal from here and go up into this corner like that do you see 
Because now we have to travel up. You can't be in this stitch because you can't make your, your uh, maneuver. If, you're, if you drop down in here, you have to start in this hole. So you have to go this way and do your cross stitches backwards. But still going in the same direction. Yes. So we're going to go this way and up. So that's going to make our still our same, same cross stitch going still from left to right. And then you're going to go down in this corner one, and then you're going to go up into that one to, to, to do your next stitch. As if you're back so now you've completed your cross stitch. Oh, man. Still exactly finishing the same. So in this hole, in up there, like that. Yep. So I'm just showing everyone like that. And then in this hole over here and up one, get off me fly. And it'll finish off your cross stitch. Now on the E, we have to put one, two on the third one. We need to stick an extra stitch in there. Get out of here, fly. So I'm just going to drop down under this. And I'm going to drop right back down into this hole. And I'm going to complete. Oh, wait. I did a boo-boo. Uh-oh. Yep. We got to pull this out. Oops. Yeah, I didn't go over one. Oh. oh. Yeah. I'm good at that. Remember? Yeah. Viola. Mm -hmm. Ow. Sorry. It's all right. It's showing you. You weren't going to know it was, was going to ring you. Oh, jeez. Oh. That was a bitch to get out. Okay, now I just need to pull this thread out through the back. Because I still need those three across. Oh, come on, Fly. Why is it landing on me? It wants to die. He loves you. Okay, I'm going to have to pause for a minute and go call my son. Jeff, Jeff give me your phone. I don't want to call his number out, and I'm just going to dial it on your phone. That's no, fine. All right, so remember, don't do what I did. Move over one. See? Oops. Yep. I'm in the wrong hole anyway. There is a fly and it wants to die. It seriously wants to die. Tracy, you do what you need to do. There's no problem. Don't worry. All right. So let's fix all these holes a little bit. Yeah, I'm like, how am I going to put an extra one in there? Okay, I got to. Yeah, I'm going to mute. What you need to do. It's all good, Tracy. I'm trying to get Ruby to set up the chat room meeting place in Discord for everybody to come in and chat to her.
Ruby will be right back. She's just taking a phone call.
that's how. Oh, the fly is still here. Somebody okay. kill him. Welcome back, Ruby. Thanks. Yeah, that was my son, and he didn't know anything about that, so I needed to talk, talk to him. No, no problem. All right. Now, Life happens. Let's get back to not screwing up, okay? <laughs> we can try. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the proper stitches and stitch a proper X. Like that. Because we're going up. And this is Livia's favorite way to stitch now. <laughs> yep. yep, yep. <laughs> Always. Yeah. So because I need to go, I need to do a stitch right here. I have to continue with finishing off this stitch here. And then I'm going to make this stitch here. You just got to pay attention to where you got to travel. Now I'm going to drop down here and I'm going to go right back into this hole here. And I'm going to finish out just this one stitch. So my E will be done like dinner. Okay. So now I could just go and do this the proper way. And do my, I think it's two stitches here. I have to do, nope, three across, one down. So let's go three across. Two. Three across. And I'm going to drop down one. And I'm going to complete this one stitch here. And I'm going to go on a diagonal here. See, I'm just paying attention to where I need to be. So that finished off that one. Now we'll finish off this one and finish off this one. And now our E is done. That doesn't mm. look like that E, does it? I think it's the bottom of it because you've got two going down and then three across. Oh, my God. Should... I'm such a jerk. Do you know what I mean? Somebody really needs to shoot me. Bang. I don't okay. make this many mistakes when I'm not on live camera. I know. <laughs> You're showing us what not to do. Okay, well, this is what you don't do. <laughs> Was I right? Is that the part? This is how you pull out your work. Oh, man. Constantly. Yeah, I'm in the wrong place, baby. <laughs> All right, get out of there. Okay, so re-thread my needle because I'm getting used to doing this. You're getting so good I don't think it. I've had to do this so much, but there are times I've had to pull out stitches, believe me. Okay, so this one has to be over here. There we go. Now we're in the right place. Fix up your holes, Ruth. <laughs> Just getting used to all my eight o'clock will be full of big holes. So there's one. Oh, you did. You were talking about a, a nine count. <laughs> there's two. And I'm going to finish off this E at the right place. Okay. I'm going to finish off this stitch, drop down here. Tracy says, I don't need any help pulling stitches. I'm a natural. <laughs> yeah, I'm a natural at this too, even on sewing. 
We're getting there. I'll yep. show you the little ripper. Okay, so there we go. Now we fixed it. The Oopsie. E. Oops. What happened? Hi, guys. Hi. Now it looks like the E here. Yes. Now we got to make this B. So I'm already at the proper end. I'm up here, really close up here. So I'm just going to go jump across and do this one right there. So just need to skip one and be in the second one. So you got to be there. Uh, yeah. And which way are we going to go next? Um, I'm going to go straight down. So we're going to finish this one. First. Yes. Oh. And then I'm going to skip one and drop down to the one below that. And I'm going to do two stitches. Guys, I'm looking through a little tiny piece of a magnifying glass. That's why it's, I'm having so much trouble. Yeah, don't blame the equipment. Olivia, <laughs> you are not any help. Um, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I know you're sorry, my I'm eyes. I'm so, so sorry. Okay, so I did move over the right place. Just don't shout at me. I won't. I'm fraggle. <laughs> you're fraggle, eh? I'm fraggle. <laughs> She's so fraggle. So there is that one done. One of my sons couldn't say fragile. And he would read it and it would be fraggle. Fraggle. <laughs> so from then on. I'm very it's, fraggle. Oh, I'm fraggle. <laughs> I'm very fraggle. And then there used to be a child's um, children's program called Fraggle Rock. Oh, my God. Come on, get out. There we go. Got rid In the it. 1980s. <laughs> All right. So for the B, we need to step up one. So I'm just going to go straight across like that. Actually, we're going to go up. So let's go up in this top right corner. And let's carry on like that. I need to do one, two, three, four stitches. And then Are we'll you sure do... you don't need to count again? Just checking. I'll shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Olivia. Yes. You're not being very nice. I'm always nice. Not being Ask very nice. Nice. Ask the ladies. They will contradict you. What are you looking for? <laughs> no. One, two. One, two. Three. Three. I'm a tree. I'm sorry. I'm being silly. Okay. I'm a tree. I'm a tree. And this one. This will complete how many I got to do here. And then I'm just going to drop right back down here to the one, two, third one up. And let's just slide nicely across the eight o'clock, please. And we're going to do one stitch here. Uh, Nan, have you, have you, um, there's a little, like spiral at the side, have you re? Can't think of the name of it. Refresh the page. I need to do two stitches here. That's supposed to be a B. Oh, whoops, I need to do one more stitch. We will do that when we get done here. Hi, Donna. Donna says, hi, Ruby. Hi, everyone. I love to cross-stitch, but cannot seem to well enough. 
even my new glasses to work on mine. Oh, well, why don't you try a, a bigger 8 o'clock? There's the B. Okay. Looks like that. Now we need to do an O. But because I'm down there, I'm not really going to want to drag my thread that far. So we'll drag it behind our work and carry on. Did you so, link the uh, magnifying glass that you used in the below, Ruby? Um, I can't remember if I have. So we need to do four stitches down. If you use a bigger eight o'clock, Donna, the holes are bigger. You won't even need glasses to look at through it. And a bigger eight o'clock, you could use 11 count or nine count. It's bigger than this too. Nan, all I can say is try refreshing your page because to me it looks like the whole list is there because it's just freshly been added. So this is the O. L L L. And my thread is really starting to tangle. So we'll just untangle that. Yeah, I did. Twelve. See? Fixed it. Okay. You fixed it. Okay. So this one here we need to be uh, one stitch over. So we got to go up, straight up, like so. And now we're going to do four stitches up. These are 14 count that Ruby is working on. Yes, this is 14 count. Okay, and I need to be in that hole there. All right, so now I just have the two stitches to do across. Nan, if you still have trouble, I will message you and send you them individually if you would like. So you can join us. Yeah, that might be the best way. She might be having lots of issues with her phone trying to yeah, yeah. access the files. All right, so there is our O. There we go. Now we need to do the T. So I just need to be one, two, three stitches over, and I'm going to make a stitch in the third box. going to do one and we've got to do five stitches so there's one five across two three Four, five. Now I need to be in the middle on that of those five stitches. So before I take that last stitch, I'll check where I need to be, and I need to be right there, so I can work down now. See, I'm I'm not making a big mess. And we need to do one, two, three, five stitches down. There's one. These are so cute, these little things. Oh my goodness. There's two.
There's three. Four. And five. Okie doke. Now my thread's getting really small. Now the next one is the C. So I need to be one down and one over. So you got to skip one. Okay, Nan. Well, just let me know if you can't. Send me a message and I'll help as much as I can. And you need to be up here. So I'll just slide straight across. Now we're going to do our C. Oh, I, I know what I dumbass. I knew I forgot. Look at I took a big jump across. <laughs> Don't do that. I thought, hey, I finished at the bottom. Why am I starting at the top? I caught that. Wow. I caught it. You caught it. I don't want it. All right. So we're going to go. Same thing. Two up from the bottom. So one, two up from the bottom. And one over. So one over. And the second one from the bottom. So we could start there instead of taking a big jump with our thread. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I'm an idiot. No, you just I'm it's just having a blast here backing out stitches. Yeah, you just showing us how. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm gonna drop down one. I'm going to take two stitches across. And then I'm going to go up. Because I need to go one, two, three, four stitches up. So let's go up. Oh, yes. One. I'm playing chicken with my thread. Yep. I think that's what they call it too. What is chicken in cross stitching? It is called, or no, I don't think it's called chicken. I forget what they call that. When you really gamble with uh, those last few stitches and you're like, no, I just need to take a more stitches thread. Yeah, that's chicken. All right, we're not going to play chicken anymore. I'm going to get no. a new thread. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I see some nice tight stitches here. So I'm going to push down, pick those stitches up, and go in behind them. So I travel, I like to travel like this. And then when I get to the last one, I'll just... Tie a nice little half hitch knot there, and then I'll travel back, and then I will split the threads, and I will run my needle up through them, and then I know I am not going to. That's not going to come out anytime soon. All right, so I have to pull another thread off. I mean, the back isn't the greatest, but it's not super messy. It could could use a little more hair and you know some people's backs look like their fronts. Yeah. Do I really need this big of a thread? I only have um I'll go with the, the O and finish the C. So I'm just going to pull off a small piece. 
I don't need that big. I don't want to waste all that hunk of thread. So I'm just going to pull off a little wee piece here. Enough to finish my work. This is really big, actually. Pull that down. It's got to be camouflaged between those two fingers, or the needle will not pick up that. Okay, well, I guess maybe it is pretty small. That oh, grumpy's got to cook. <laughs> yeah. That's quite past eight here. All right, where do I need to be? Up there. So we'll go here, there, and loop our secure thread. Come up here. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do this one stitch while I'm nice and close to it. And there, go straight across and finish that off. So there is the C. Now all we have left to do is another O. 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 We just have another O. Oh. So I'm not going to take a big jaunt across. I'm going to just run my thread quickly behind here. Like so. And then we're going to go a second row over and the same distance or same height as the C. So we're just going to take these two stitches. Or this one stitch. Nope, there is four. This is an easy letter to do. Two. Oh, you'll find somewhere to snag, won't you? Oh, well, they're definitely there because four people have already seen them. I thought maybe I, I'm seeing them because I put them on there. I didn't know if other people. Right. But there's four other people have seen them, so. But they none. I just, I don't know. Oh. Jeez. I pulled my needle right out. <laughs> Wait, you do it on the sew machine. Now you do it in the hand stitching. Wow. Why not? <laughs> that usually then. only happens if you have a short thread. Yeah. I don't have a short thread here. It's pretty long. You're just making it an all rounder. All right. Travel up. Make sure I'm going in the right hole. Okay, I need to fix something. I need to fix that stitch before there. Yeah. Want to tighten it up. There we go. See, if I tried that, I would have snapped it. I All right. too hard and snapped. Four stitches up. Well, 
I need to go right back into that same hole because it is shared. And then we need to put two stitches here. There's one. And there's two. And we'll finish the off. And that part is, look at, how cute is that? Pretty. All right, so let's end our thread. On the back sneak. Go back down here. I like to split the threads. That way it really catches. Oh, I'm going to tie a knot here. Right there, it's a half hitch. And oh, I'm going to split through some threads here. And then I'm going to just lift some and go right through that. And it is knotted. Okay. Perfect. Our October is done. How cute is that, guys? Now I got to start on, I think I'm going to do the house. Okay. Or what you want. Maybe this. The, we'll do this. This brown part. So what color is that? That is 869 or 434. And oh, I'll... it's 434 because 869 is this dark fence. You can see the difference in the, the colors. Yeah. That's the 869. 434 and 434. Okay. Let's put this back. Let me go to the October one and have a look for you. Yeah, my phone just totally wiped out. Oh, my phone just totally fast. Eight six nine is darker, so is that not the fence? So four three four is the one that you need. Oh, technical difficulty! She knocked the phone. Sorry, guys. Welcome back. I was trying to fix it. No problem. My tape doesn't hold up my phone very well. Because, <laughs> um, yes, the, the... magnifier. I got to find a new way to do this. I'm thinking I might just tie it. Oh, shit. The fence this and the thread. door is the same one. Thread here wants to come out. So we'll take it out then. This one here didn't want to stay that one I cut. Yeah, it wanted out. Ah. Getting dark out again, that means we're going to get some more rain. And you've been live oh, four please. hours, Ruby. I know. Do you want to start the house tonight or do you want to leave it for maybe tomorrow? Um, I don't know if I'll be back tomorrow. I got to see how things are going. I'm this sorry. is just occupying my mind right now. I know. Okay, so this is quite a big piece. I don't think I'm going to waste this, guys. So what I'm going to do... I am going to attach it on my bobbin thing here. I would say wrap it around your bobbin, but it'll kink it. Yeah, it's just a small piece. There's one single thread, but that's a big piece to waste. Yeah. Normally, I would throw it out. Me too, but... 
<laughs> yeah. But this will here will do like a good portion of that uh, house. Just this piece alone. And there's a line of it underneath the tree. Yeah. It would probably do all of that, yeah. help, that line. We keep it. So we can choose what color? 434? Four, four. Uh, I think so. That's 869-434. Because four. 869 looks like the... It's darker. Yeah, that's the door and the fence. Yeah. Okay, so put that up there. I think the 498 is for the roof, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, Debbie's got to go. It's Hubby's home. Time for a walk. Okay, Debbie. I'm going to get going myself. Yeah. And I'm going to keep making this throughout the month. And at the end of the month, when you guys all have yours done, I will show you how to turn it into a pillow and how mm -hmm. I'm going to decorate it because I bought some acorns. Are, they, are those acorns or acorns? Acorns. Okay. So I bought acorns. That's it. And I wanted to decorate my October one with the acorns and some ribbon. And I might even put jute twine, glue it all the way around the um, the pillow itself. Yeah. Might be pretty. So, guys... We're going to have another stitch along. I think you guys pretty much got the gist of how to do this one. Every month is going to be the same thing. We're going to have to border it. Um, I'm really glad I left at least a three quarters of an inch. I could have moved down a little more. So, But I was trying to be safe. On this side here, they're pretty even on here. It's just this part here. But I think we're okay because I have lots of room to sew this into a pillow. So yeah. I'm not worried about it. Because I'm going to trim it off to about half inch all the way around and then close it up. Even maybe quarter inch. So yeah, work on yours. Post it in the group when you guys are done yours. And that way we can, um, we can make our little tiny pillows. Um, mm -hmm. If I decide to go live tomorrow, I'll let you know. But I just got to wait and see that how things are going here no uh, with the baby. Yeah. So I want to thank you all for joining me today. Thank carry you on live. with your carry on with your October. Finish it up. Hey, if you don't even have these colors, guys, just match these colors up to the best you know how. Um. See this color here? What color is that? That looks like 38553. Oh, three. These ones here are 3853. Three. This is 3854. And you can see there's back stitching in here. Yeah. And the back stitching is with um gosh, it almost looks like the same color as the thread. Yeah. But it's not. And it's the with the with the green. Yeah, mushroom stalks look like six seven seven. Yeah, they they did a crappy way of doing this pattern with the, the colors are so close in proximity. Yeah. This one here is down here. This dark red is top of the mushroom. Down here the mushrooms. And the other red is the roof. This dark green, we already determined. No, we didn't. Well we did. 3347, we did the outside and this, and the darker green, we did in this and this. And this color here is the darker green. 869 is this fence. 677 is in here between these guys. 3776 is this orange on the leaves. And 3854 is these colored leaves. And 3853. Oh, wait a minute. 
There's three colors of gold. You can see that these are all three different colors. That's a dark one. That's a dark. That's dark. And that's dark. This yeah. is the 3853. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And then the gold ones are these. Yes. And then 434 is what we're going to do here. I think it's the, and the door. And the door. And these, whatever the heck these are. What are those? They look like little acorns. Oh, Spoiled they're from really the old tree. tree. I know. Yeah, okay. Well, I didn't want to say it looks like a pile of animal. Um, yeah, I'm calling them acorns. They look like <laughs> emoji poops. I didn't want to say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't All know right, what else guys. to call them. Yeah. All right. Thank you All for right. live. Thank you, guys. Take care. Live. Yeah, you know. I'm going to have some to eat and I will be straight right back with you. Okay. You go enjoy your dinner. Bye everyone. God bless. Sweet Hopefully dreams. see you tomorrow.